I, she fucking stop says. Stop talking. Stop talking. Please stop Tell talking. Tell me to Let shut me up. Finish. Wait, okay, yeah, chill, okay, chill, chill. I don't think Max thinks I'm bad. Max, do you think I'm bad? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> You've you already you backed off. Can you, you own anything? anything? Cherry, Cherry, shut the f up, you f oh, retard. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Call me. How Mary, hard is this to care. understand? Your brain is smooth. Listen to me. All I have I to do is ask, are you sure? And you back up and how I, I don't want care to about the problems you have with porn. We were talking about whether so or not. What are you asking me, Steven? I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just trying to make sure we understand each other. Don't act like I'm attacking you. Because if you want me to attack you, I'll attack you. Hi, Cherry, you retard. Okay, can, let's turn the temperature down a little bit. <laughs> no, oh, dude, hello. she was. Dude, she literally goes on. She her whole thing is like she's so attention seeking. Then she comes on here and farms drama from you. Please, please. Okay, how how did I farm drama from him? Please explain. Well, you went on and fucking talked about me first, and then you're going on, dude. Come on. No, no, no. explain it. Go ahead. Hey, what? Lab. No, actually, hey, elaborate. Hey, what the fuck hey, you mean by I drama farmed? Hey, Lev, you need a lawyer. I do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm your court-appointed, uh, state-appointed attorney here to help oh, you out. What's going Jesus on? How can I help Christ. you with this then, cherry, this cherry situation? Dude, I don't know what the fuck to do. Half of me is like, do I want to give this bitch any attention? Obviously, you're having a field day with all the views I'm driving you. You were like a 43 viewer Andy, and then all of a sudden this week you're getting That's like 120 really fucking lab. stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah, why, there are a lot of people who are really interested and um, entertained watching you talk shit in circles. Yeah, no, they are Thank entertained. You. In, they are entertained watching me. You're right. Maybe you should take notes. Yes. On that. Maybe you should integrate it. No, I don't want to be a lol cow. No, you, you don't. No, but you are a That is cow. what is happening on my stream. And I felt bad. So I went on Destiny's stream you to ask him so advice. Bad. You felt so bad, that's why you told me to call the suicide hotline the other night. You just felt so that was, bad. Hold on, now we're oh jumping. God, no, 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 now no, we're no, jumping. So no, this is actually out of the let kindness me, of Let me respond heart. to that. No, no that yes. makes a lot of sense, okay, yeah? Okay, can I respond? Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay. You, you tweeted out, or not tweeted, you did a video in your announcement to returning to sex work that mm -hmm. you privated your videos and you, you blamed it on me. Um, and you said, I'm Blame. doing these streams, I'm so mean, and that you, um, and that you got banned from my chat, but you couldn't help but keep watching, and it was like self-harm to you. So when I do have somebody who I think is not well, who has a history of suicidality and cutting, and you tell me watching my VOD and watching my stream is like self-harm and you can't yeah, so, stop, so, so what I'm you gonna do tell you to f off. And yeah, yeah I'm gonna link you the suicide to hotline. I don't want that, any of that fucking baggage on me. Link, you didn't link me the suicide hotline. You're posturing right now. You did it because you want to be a fucking alpha female bitch. You didn't do it because you fucking cared about me, you piece of no, shit. No, I don't, don't care about you. So don't tell me about your suicidality. No. Fuck off. Wait, you don't care about me, but you do. No, I don't little... care about you. Uh, if I Cherry, cared about Cherry, you, I would have addressed Cherry, it. Cherry, you're flip flopping a lot in this conversation. I, I am to, consistently like, not mode. giving a fuck about you. Can I'm leave? worried about me and what I'm doing. I that makes a lot of sense. It, that makes I'm a lot hoping of sense. it does. I'm glad we got there. I'm glad we got there. I'm glad that you admitted that everything you do is selfish and that you are not trying to help me at all or trying to. No, do I'm not but... trying to help you. Holy so shit! You, so, so what are you trying to do? Just just gain attention, right? No, I'm making content that's interesting for me. So Do you think attention? that anytime someone talks so about attention? you, they have to care about you? So attention? Lab, there's nothing wrong with wanting attention. No, I, yeah, I do. I is. do stream for attention. I hope no, people no, watch me. No. Sometimes I show them Max. my ass. Yeah. Max, my problem, I do want my attention. problem isn't about attention. I'm all for everyone. everyone if it's not about attention, streamer. why do you keep fucking saying attention? Because you, because Cherry, your whole mode, you, everything I did, you took notes on me wanting attention. I did because you are so inconsistent. People have to take notes on you to keep up with the shit that you word vomit and the positions that you fucking flip flop on. I don't, I do, oh, oh my God, God, the gang's back together. This is huge. Um, I haven't really, I've, I don't know if I flip flop that much, Cherry. Um, the problem- You don't here, know? <laughs> the problem, the problem here is that you are a pot calling me black, me being the kettle. You called yourself um, black and slow, by the way.
Yeah, and I told you that that was a Jesse Lee Peterson quote. We told you that, and then you still took it, and you were like, she's a racist. I don't know. Um, who is we? Who is we, Lav? Uh, the people on who were on Cozy, but it was me. It was... Who Everyone was on Cozy told told me to take a black joke? That's how you remember it? N no, that's not what happened. Um, but I, I, I know it's explained. not. I, I know it's not what happened. You, I had explained to you the catchphrase, and you were like, oh... And then you, uh, weeks later, were like, oh, she said something racist, um, which is weird to do. Uh, did, so did I say that you were making a racist joke to a community that is most likely racist to gain uh, their fucking favor in that room? Well, you were there, so they can't be that racist, right? They absolutely can. What the fuck? Do you? Okay. This is what I'm talking about when I feel like talking to you is... Um, is something that I need to get advice from other people on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, on Lauren. stream. On stream. Need to get advice yeah. from Steven on stream about it. Yeah, who Yeah. So we got to we got to assign a, a a a man to each woman in the conversation. Yeah, shut the so, f up. But Whoa. I want to say I do I'm want your... to get advice on stream because I want people to be able to see the fact that I'm asking these questions because well, nobody I have knows asked them. better than I do. So Dude, I can give you advice. But I just want to say because I talk to my stream about this, about this worry, but I feel like um I want like more people to be able to see that I'm actually like So what to... is what is the criticism? So what is your problem with me, Cherry? I want to know. I'd like to have a no, consensus. No, I'm not done. I'm not done with my dive but into your farming. content. Yeah, no, that makes sense. No, it's not attention farming. It's like literally going through your so you don't... own You've Your gone through. Thoughts. You've gone through like over ten hours of my content, yet, though. You no. don't like have an idea of what you don't like about me. Oh, I have an idea, but I don't have the whole well, idea. There's like it. there's like twenty other vods I have to watch. Like the the list of things wrong with you. I just want you to be very clear. It is probably going to get longer. Yeah, but should we? But talk where about... I'm, where I'm at so far? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, you're inconsistent. I don't take about you for what? sincere. Oh, I, I didn't come here with a f***ing PowerPoint. You're the one who hopped on Steven's stream. Girl, you took and notes. And you had a lot of shit to say. So just tell the things that you said to Steven earlier. Repeat them now. Uh, what did I say earlier? Didn't you watch? You had to have f***ing watched it. I rolled out of bed and I've been here since. <sighs> Welp, um... Yeah, you were you were trying to paint everything I was doing as manipulative, which was weird. Um, I think it was Max who pointed out that you were being manipulative in that conversation with him. Yeah, and well, just, that's because Max, is, that and Max is as it. equally as mentally ill as you are, so that makes sense. Um, I was like, not... what does mental illness <laughs> even mean to you? So, like, I think, uh, I think when when I think people don't both... agree with you, when people think no. lab is bad, it's mental illness. It must no. be. I don't think I don't think Max thinks I'm bad. Max, do you think I'm bad? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding then. Um, fuck. Okay, no, lost not, that not, one. Not, lost not that, that one. Not that bad. Okay. Oh wait, um, I think there was you're mostly thing... bad to yourself. You said you came in and that I was like unhinged, and I said, um, I hate her, and any conversation I have after this is gonna be out of loathe. That's what, right? that's, yeah, you typed that. You typed it uh, out. Yeah, I typed it. I didn't fucking say it, right? You, you said that I different. yelled that I hate her and any conversation is out of loathe. Are it's the, me are fucking they typing my thoughts. Are they different? They are different because when you came into my chat and asked me about it, I, I told you, yeah, I really right don't like you. Can I tweet the N-word right now? Why? I'm you not probably saying would. it. I'm not saying it. It's different. What makes what? it different, Cherry? You said that. And then you told me, then you told me uh, to call in the worst way possible. Do you know, I, do you I know had, why I, I said that? Do you know why I said that? Do, I don't can you really explain, care. Can you explain uh, to stream finish. why I said that? Can you explain okay. to them? Can you? So this is, this was. Nope. This was wait, 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 wait. Catch us up real quick. Why you said what? Why I said that I, uh, why I typed down that I hate Lav and that any conversation I have with her afterwards is gonna be out of loathe. Okay. And she came into my stream and then I doubled down and told her I don't like you. Okay. Um, that wasn't the, that wasn't the even the part. The part that I have a problem with was you being like so insensitive and uh, disgusting. Okay, but maybe towards... we should, maybe we should explain why I said that, right? So let me finish. Um, mm -hmm. so the part that I have a problem with was you, uh, being so rude 
and saying like, you were like, F- get the fuck out of here. Uh, I don't yeah, want to partake. Yeah, because I wanted you to fucking leave. Okay. Um, do, I, I don't want to partake in your self harm. Uh, yeah, because there, I think threatening suicide is fucking is it, weird. I when when did the fuck did I threaten making jokes suicide? about self harming, watching my content? That is I, like threatening. That's, that's you like you take you took me completely out of f-ing context, bitch. I have no, I took you in context. You wish everyone up. would look at you as a joke. That vod, that vod is still f-ing up. I literally was like, oh, I couldn't stop watching. It was like a car crash. I like, I it was like a. It was like a need you to like say keep car crash. watching. You said it was self harm. Yes, I did. But it was like I said, it was like a form of self harming, and then I laughed. He he he. I was like, it was very much like not. It was very much like ha ha ha. It wasn't like I'm about to f- kill myself. And for you to hey, you it are that completely way empathizing with yourself. I think for me on my stream, I do not need to let you sit there and watch me, knowing that you said that. I get to be uncomfortable You're, about that. That's very and big of you. you. That's very big of you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think it's also worth noting why I said that I hate you in that conversation. I forget. Um, of course you would. You you were having a conversation with Steven, um, e- explaining your porn addiction when you were younger, saying that when you were 11, Hold on. you, you careful. stumbled into porn. Around Max, careful. Careful. I'm not worried about Max. Um, you said you, that you've you... already served your time for this offense, Lev. <laughs> You said that you stumbled onto porn when you were like 11, within like three days you were watching really extreme porn. And he was like, oh, wow. And then you, you gassed the situation. You were like, yeah, um, you know, there's studies that show um, watching extreme porn at a young age is, the, is, a sim, is like the same trauma as being molested or assaulted as a kid. And I just, like, just go, go make yourself, like, the most intense victim somewhere else. So, yeah, I hate you for that. Uh, you think that that was me victimizing my, like, Absolutely. I'm... Okay. Yeah, my, my young porn addiction story isn't, isn't intense enough. So I have to let people know that my trauma, it's almost as similar as getting raped as a kid. Oh, uh, that was not where I was coming from with that. Uh, well, I think it's, I you thought, have to understand that, that that's how it's that read. Up. I thought you were attacking the porn industry more than uh, victimizing yourself with that. Yeah, that is what I was doing. Um, so well, I, I also think thought it's you were adver- advertising. I know, I so, know. Well, yeah, I just, I just want to say, I. But that, <laughs> I th- but aside from that, I think you were attacking porn more than than yeah. I don't think you're. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that was. I don't think that was victimizing myself at all. But that was a lot of the criticism you levied against me was that I was like consistently victimizing myself, which I think is really interesting because I think that. Yeah, you would often bring I don't up think that I you're have. not listening to me because I'm a woman and and shit like that. It, I think most that of it often, wasn't. I think that oftentimes people don't listen to me because I'm a woman. Um, <laughs> I, I I I don't think that, that that's all the criticism, right? I don't think that that's every criticism, um, but I think that oh, that certainly like happens. Are, but you have been highlighting the one moment where I was. How do you get rid of wood? Upset on my <laughs> stream. Uh, sexy. I was triggered. Good joke. And I think it's, How? Well, that's it's just probably what I more watched. fair to point out why I was triggered. Well, it seemed like everything I do is triggering you. So really, I no. think that you should call the suicide no, hotline isn't. and stop reviewing my content because I feel like it's self-harm. Listen, I don't have a problem reviewing your content. I just don't like when you... Um, when you honestly play the victim while I'm doing it. I, what do you mean play the victim? I was I was I was typing saying lol. watching my stream feels like self harm to you, and you I was can't typing help but LOL watch my stream. In chat. I was typing lol in chat, and you're like, you're out of here, and I was like, okay. Kinda no, weird. you wouldn't just type lol in chat. You typed the first time in my chat to tell me to, or you said have a conversation with me, like don't oh. watch my content. Just have I didn't a conversation with me. Watch my content. I said we can just have a conversation if it's easier. Wait, no, Cherry, it I wasn't feel like we easier. all don't don't we all just kind of like flail and air out our mental health troubles like online? I feel like all, the three of us do that pretty consistently. Um okay, but when I do it, I'm not putting that on other people. I feel like when she does um air out her shit and then she That's not like true. she'll you tell you what's wrong with, with you, um, she'll tell you you're having You're the um, shit with hot ha- with uh, Hans? Hans? Hans. Hans. Huh. And you also wrote a fucking twit longer about Steven. Like, what the fuck do you mean, bitch? Yeah, we're all we're all constantly 
That is me airing out mine. That's not me taking my trauma and telling other people how they have to view the entire sex work industry. Telling Genevieve, she's actually a victim. You don't understand. Um, you have to listen to my story. You, Your get, story you is... get on me. You get on me for deflecting Wait, you're doing the it way right that... now. You're saying I'm you're saying I'm self-harming with your content and kind of blaming Lav for that. No, I did not say I'm self-harming. I thought you said reviewing her content was self-harming. No, she was no I said oh, she was listening saying you, to you that one self-harming. thing oh, okay. where she conflated watching extreme porn to being gotcha, gotcha, raped gotcha, as a kid. Gotcha. I got triggered in that. I wrote it down and I moved back on. I didn't message her. I didn't make a VOD to her about how like her shit is making me feel like I need to self-harm. I made a note and I moved the f on. That's not what Lav does. She makes yeah, it my fucking I responsibility. Did. I made I made a video and then I touched on it for a second. I was like, yeah, that was f***ing crazy. Uh, maybe the worst person to walk in on going over your content, lol. And then I f moved on. Why are you acting did like you I had on? like a fucking sob story? You yes. were in my chat the next day. What are you talking about? You but moved I feel like this, on. Isn't this what streaming is? I feel like this is <laughs> yes. what streaming is. Like, yes. that's not what we all do all the time. No, is say, but like, this okay. is the problem. But Max, this I feel like she's I get the right. She's alpha female. She's alpha no, female. No, I don't think I'm alpha female. Yes, I think you I have do. the right that if someone uh, that I think is just going to lie to me in the moment, that I want to watch more of their content and be in a more confident place before I talk to them, knowing that they're going to be willing to lie and pivot and talk in circles. Like, it's not an unreasonable request. Wait, what's the request? That I don't have to have her on my stream and talk to her right away if I feel like she's going to just lie to me in the moment, or that she just says sure. whatever she can to appease the room. Yeah, you that is half have... of her fucking problem. But you don't have to have anybody on your stream if you don't want to, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying I want to go through her content. I want to see all of the ways that she um, she's changed okay. her positions, that she's pivoted, shit like that. And okay. she's saying that I need to um, entertain a conversation with her. I never said that. I said we can talk if it's easier. That's not I didn't... what you said. Yes, then why that did... is exactly what I fucking said. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. I'm calling this a new you... pivot. Girl, do you think I want to talk to you after you were that like what conversation could we possibly have that gets to a good place after the way you fucking talk to me? You're a bitch. You're like a hateful person. Okay. Do you think that do you think that you is being it, like I fucking well, hate this girl makes it, me want to listen, talk to you at all? Is it is it really hateful though because this this is just kind of like the content mill, right? People just kind of cover each other's stuff, right? Uh, it, no, I don't it is hateful. hateful. If you point out her contradictions, it has to be fucking hateful. If you That's analyze anything that she's saying, That's wanting to be a socio-political fucking oh commentator, my God. I can't believe you not, just handed you've her gotta that just bone be a stardust. Bitch. I can't believe you just handed her that fucking bone stardust. There are plenty of people who have critiqued me and not been a fucking hateful bitch and been like, call the suicide hotline. You were just fucking because you fucking, no fucking laugh reason. and pretend like nothing is serious. That's why nobody sticks to it because you're not willing to what own up to anything saying? that you have said. I've owned up to everything. What am I? What am I not owning up Absolutely to? Absolutely not. What am I not owning up to? Please. I mean, if we want to talk about it, what was your take about Amaranth? My take about Amaranth has changed. Um, <laughs> oh, so you don't think that she? So <laughs> Ooh, not owning I, up to I, it. I, I, thank you. I don't know what you, you. Don't know what you're talking about, but that, no, that didn't sound no, good. No, 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 no. But but my my critique of amaranth because i i tuned in to see myself talk about it that was this this was the second week i'd you ever tuned streamed. in right yeah my stream because you can't fucking week stop I watching it streamed the second week i had ever streamed <laughs> and um so that excuse for first i want to make sure i have an excuse on the table first um and yep get your I excuse said, also I your victimhoods said, right you're autistic right yeah, I'm autistic there. i'm jewish i'm a woman i'm mexican mm -hmm. yeah all of it yeah go on um i'm black i'm slow um, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to, <laughs> I, so Amaranth, Literally I, laughing think, by yourself. I think, yeah, I'm very funny, um, and easy to talk to, uh, but when I was talking about Amaranth, I had the, well, here, this is still true. Amaranth's whole business model is about like her, so now it's still true. God damn it. Just okay. fucking pick one. Uh, well, multiple things can be true at once, Cherry, right? <laughs> Only in your head. Only in Lab. your head do they all exist at the same fucking time. I don't think that's true. I think that uh, usually people who can see like complexity in situations usually have, you know, parts of them that align with different parts of different uh, scenarios. But in this scenario, Amaranth, <laughs> is, Amaranth is a girl 
who uh, posts her boobs and her whole business model is like, look at me, boob, I'm nothing. And I actually saw you say, well, if she doesn't have a problem with it, then you shouldn't have a problem with it. If you had seen her Vice documentary, she does have a problem with it and she says she hates it. So my point still stands, ultimately. What, what but, point was it? You haven't said a fucking point. I think that she's a businesswoman. I think that I think she's girl bossing it up. I think that's cool. Um, that wasn't your take, was it? Well, yes, it was. I said no, that she was wasn't. girl bossing. You got you got mad at me for saying that she was a girl boss. Yeah. That is not that was not your take. Yes, because I said capitalist scum, and then you were like, oh, she hates capitalists. Like, uh, yeah, that was my take. But I was also like, yeah, I I think that this is like a net negative for society. I don't think that women I don't think that women should uh, sexualize themselves to the point where they're like nothing but a sexual object. Not fucking John Zerka, dude. I'm going. Just keep talking. If Zerka, if you derail, I'm kicking you out. It. I'm gonna lose it. Um, but yeah, that's what I was. Uh, that's what I was ultimately saying is I think that women um, have an imperative to not completely sexualize themselves into oblivion, right? Okay, I think this is your quote. This is your quote. I'm mad at Amaranth because her whole brand is being brainless and do this. Uh huh. Yeah, I, that's what I said in like fewer words. That's more concise. No, no, that is what you said. Yeah, that's like what You're I also talking about just something said about in you, fewer words. Her being a, a girl boss, a uh, businesswoman, you didn't complain about that. You said no, that I'm she sure was that objectifying notes. herself. No, you said she there. was objectifying Show herself notes, at the expense Show us your of notes, women. Cherry. Yes. She was objectifying herself at the expense of women. You yes. find her to be a harm to women. Yes. Okay, why did you not say this? Why do you choose, when we talk about it, to only mention that, oh, I said she's a businesswoman and a girl boss? Um, well, I didn't just say that. I also, I also just said that you shouldn't objectify yourself. I'm confused. Did you, were you not part? I know you you're just confused. not here I'm for most so of that conversation? I'm so fucking not interested. I'm so fucking not interested in you. It's easy to not be interested anything. when I dunk on you, Cher. It's easy to be not interested. I feel so it? dunked on. Is uh, that your, what's it, what else is your criticism? Yeah, I think that the Amaranth thing is like still just, objectively listen, true. I'm gonna have so many criticisms. I just, I was so curious. You said that you don't take anything back, you stick to everything. And I wanted to see what you would say about Amaranth. And I think um, we just boing this whole fucking, this whole fucking topic. You went back I, and I forth. Think I, I love that no, I literally No, I literally said like almost exactly what I did, but, but with like a little more information now because I've watched a Vice documentary. So I've uh, doubled down and also added some, which I think is what people do when offered new information, unless you're retarded, right? Right. Like okay. Wait. Well, let's real quick. Okay. <laughs> can we? Can you? Can you? We say it in a few words. Lav, what is your problem with Cherry? I think. Uh, I think. Cherry is really well. Now it's personal, right? I didn't have a problem with Cherry before. In fact, I thought. Okay, hold on. Question. Let's let's answer let's no, yeah. Let's circle no, around again. Okay, cherry, what is your cherry, problem okay, with Cherry? Okay, Cherry. Yes. Cherry, I think that you're stupid. Um, I think what? that you're. I think that you're uncharitable. <laughs> I think that I think that you are a hypocrite. You you exhibit all the same things that you get mad at me for, and I am really Wait, that's um. The same. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you yeah, just yeah, you yeah, personally yeah. you don't like her. Okay. Now, well, no, it's not that I. Uh, yeah. I yes, it is. Her. Don't say no. Yes, it is. You don't like. I her. could like her though, so I don't want to. I don't want to condemn. <laughs> okay. I don't want to condemn. She her. did like me before I started criticizing her content. Gotcha. No, okay. I, Cherry. No, the criticism Wait. wasn't it. <laughs> Cherry, mm. what is your problem <laughs> with Lav? Okay. Um, I think a lot of her thoughts are not. Um, they're not fleshed out, and I can't tell if it's because she hasn't thought them through or if she's just trying to appease an audience when she's in that room, or if she's just so easily like persuaded by other people as soon as they make an argument Mind that she feels like I think it's all can't. three. We'll let her finish. It, it her might finish. be all three. I haven't I haven't decided. You, and so I'm going through her content. I think a lot of the times that she's um she's pretty rude and disrespectful mm -hmm. to people who disagree with her and yeah. I do think that a lot of people criticizing her just get told that they're being misogynist or sexist. And gotcha. I feel like it can be super gaslighty. Okay, um, are you interested so it, yeah. in presenting evidence for any of these particular things right now that you would want Laf to answer to or for? Right now, I, I was not prepared, no. 
Okay, what did you come into here to talk to Lab about when you came on? Um, right now. Because she, well, right now, because she came in and said, uh, and said shit, so I wanted to come in and be able to address you it. You have notes right in front of you. You have your notes right in front of you, you just read from Okay. Them. Let's if divvy you... up something, babe. Divvy up something for me. I feel like I just did with the Amaranth, okay? Do you, you want to do and that I again? I mogged you, Cherry. Another one, please. Are, are you sure that's what you did? Yeah, another one, please. Listen, oh, I am, I'm at August 8th of her content. Mm -hmm. I have about like 10 pages of like dialogue between her and other you, people. You also, you also had a problem with the way that I talked to, here, I'll give this one to you. I'll Go pass ahead. you the ball. Give the it to me. The one with Genevieve. You talked about the way that I spoke yeah. to Genevieve. Mm-hmm. And you had a problem. You you thought that I was a like a gatekeeper. That I was like the only the only person who could do sex work. No, I definitely didn't say that. Okay, I so said what was you it? you told people that you want to gatekeep sex work. That you think it's yes. a good thing. That's why you don't want people speaking positively of it. And I definitely made the joke that I think um, you should gatekeep yourself out of it. Okay. Uh. I still, I still, I haven't flip flop on that at all. I still, I still feel all the same ways that I did. So do you feel like you own your body if your if photos of your naked body are on the internet? Uh, no, but I don't necessarily think that that's So then like why did you go back to posting nude photos on Patreon? Because I've spent six years building this callus so that I could do it. Building so the callus, but didn't it. you just break down about it two months ago? Yeah, sometimes we have little things. So maybe you didn't build the callus. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes the callus gets rubbed off in a. So maybe care. you pretend to build a callus so you can go back to posting nudes? Uh, first of all, I was making $14,000 a month and lost all of it. So that would be the worst business model I think I would have ever come up with. Okay, you lose um, $14,000 to gain a husband who makes over half a million in a year. Cherry. Wait, so you bringing up my fiance's income has one, very little to do with my own income, two, nothing to do with the conversation at hand. I think um, it does. You're implying that you made a financial loss for your um You're also implying that, your I made a, that I made and a you relationship haven't. gain. I was I've been with my fiance uh for years. He's never cared about my sex work. And is he Jewish too? Stop. No. Zerga. He's Catholic. Babe. But he's 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 uh more retarded than me. Mm -hmm. So that's his excuse. How's okay, so, so your, your uh, new he's thing, Catholic. your new oh. thing with Patreon, <laughs> um, how is it different from what Genevieve was advocating for, for her healthy engagement and sex work? So I don't take requests. Um, I post whatever I want to post. I'm free to post, uh, uh, I mean, for I'm, now, uh, right? Cause who knows what you're going to do in two months. Fair enough. Well, Cherry, Cherry, if she can't answer the question, then why ask? Wait, what do you that's, mean? Because, well, that's well, the point. Not... Cherry's trying to illustrate that there are questions that she can't answer. That's part of Cherry's well, line of questions. Well, no, but right? I, well, I know, no, but, but, no, but, but no, saying, but, he, but she but has to let me try. Max, don't wait, wait, ever Cher talk to me about about cutting a bitch off, Max. I, not no, no, from problem, you. The, my problem's not that you cut her off. It's that you said, <laughs> if even if you say you're not doing this thing now, you might do it later, so you might as well be doing it now. So if uh -huh. you're just going to make up whatever she's doing, then why, why even ask her? I'm not making it up, but as she answers and as she's inconsistent, I also want to point out the inconsistencies but it's not, that it's she not had in the past. That, but, but, that but, all of her but, answers will never fucking matter. Wait, hold on, Max. Doesn't this wouldn't this totally invalidate? Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 Ah, okay. uh, this is Max monologue time. Fuck off, Max. Uh, that's a little No, I'm just kidding. Go off. I haven't heard you in a while. Why don't okay. let the man speak? So in one situation... <laughs> Max, um, are you wearing rollerblades? Am I what? Are you wearing rollerblades right now? No, why? Okay, yeah, go ahead. I don't understand. Is that a joke? It was a bad one. Go ahead. Okay. Um... In one situation, she's asking Lav, how is what you do different from what um, Genevieve does? And Lav says, Genevieve takes requests and I don't. That is objectively a true statement. Then she replies, well, later down the line, you might. So 
it just invalidates the entire conversation where you, you know you no longer can say what I do or what she does or compare any two things because Cherry's allowed to just make something up and say that this is a new comparison. No. Well, two the comparison... Like, hold on. Let, me, let, me, let me finish explaining. Let me finish explaining. This is it's one instance. It's not that I can make me, something well, up. up. It's the fact Cherry, that Cherry. Cherry. I don't, I don't will want, never I don't hold want, to what I, she fucking talking. says. Stop talking. Stop talking. Please stop Tell talking. Tell me to let shut me up. Wait, okay. Yeah. okay chill, chill, chill. Don't scream. Let me finish. Let me finish. My children, go ahead. So that's one instance. That's why I'm saying, why mm-hmm. ask if you're going to make up her answer for her? Yep. What I did with Lav was I said... Okay, wait, real quick, just on the I, Cherry thing, just for the, so we understand what was going on there, right? I think what Cherry was pointing out was that like Lav used to be hypercritical of behaviors like A, B, and C. And she was hardcore yeah. attacking somebody like Genevieve over behaviors A, B, and C. And yes. now Lav is saying, Lav- well, I'm going to do behavior A... And no. Cherry is like, well, wait, weren't you really critical of A, B, and C? He's like, well, yeah, I was only now I'm only critical no. of B and C. And that, now with Cherry, totally, no, that's that's, that's wait, stop, stop. That's a totally it. fine response. No. I'm, just saying, that's, I'm just saying no, that's what no, that's no, what no, the point of her line of question that's, is. That's what she said. That's not, but that's not true, Stephen. That's not what happened. She it didn't is say that. absolutely no, what happened. I don't me, have to. Me, okay. I don't have to fucking spell it out to, for I, my reaction to paint that picture. I want to finish explaining. I am more effective than you, Max. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. If A, B, and C, let's say C is taking requests, right? And she's saying, well, I don't do C. And Stephen, you're saying she could have said, well, you do A and B, but she didn't say that. She actually, what she said was, in the future, you might do C, so we might as well act like you're doing it now. Well, the that problem isn't what sense. she's acting like she's doing. The problem is her, and this is what I said to her earlier, the problem is Lev's hardcore criticism of people doing all those other things. And That's now she's fine. decided, one, but okay, the, the, the fact The fact remains that Cherry's response was, down the line, you may change your mind and do that again, so also, I can criticize you for it as though you're doing it now, which okay. doesn't make any sense. What I was saying to Lav wasn't, I think that later down the line you're going to do sex work, so therefore you're doing sex work now. I was saying, I think you're lying. I don't believe you. You're saying you're retiring from sex work, but I believe that in six months you are going to be doing sex work and that all of this, whether you know it or not, is functionally going to be a big ad for your sex work How is career. that not and essentially I, the same thing that Cherry's saying, though? Because... Cherry's, Cherry's saying, making, I think you're lying Cherry, right now. You're saying this video right now, but in the future, you're no, probably going to take requests sh- on Patreon again. That's not that's not Cherry's argument. Cherry, I, so please pay attention. Holy shit. Yeah, sorry, that almost don't sounded don't exactly like me. what her argument was. Your I know, it's, it almost is sounded exactly dumb. the same, but please, you don't please, have understand, it. please okay. understand the difference. Please don't speak for me, Max. Please, un- I, I'm not speaking for you. Please this understand like the a... difference between saying, um, like if I said, I think you're unhealthy because you smoke cigarettes, and then you say... Well, I don't. And then I say, well, you maybe in the future you will. So that's the same thing. That's different No, not from the same. That's it's different. the same that's if different. she smoked that's cigarettes different. and that's then she quit smoking. And I'm like, well, that's you're different. probably going to pick it up again. That's different. Saying you smoke cigarettes now effectively because I think okay. you're going to smoke I them later. I love this meta conversation. Is, is different from telling somebody... I think you are going to relapse. That was also that was also the that was the first thing I no, said, and it was no, the, the least end. significant, and it was the least I just, significant. I just thing. don't believe that you no, guys Max, don't understand the difference. Max, between the end. These two no, things. you are just being Cherry, fucking Cherry, stupid. Okay, the Cherry. end is exactly it. Is the relapsing the fact that she's done this? She has the history of doing this, and that that's, her criticism. Okay, she backed off her own criticism but to re-enter to, sex work. If she's going to relapse. I get then to point that out. That you do, Cherry, but your argument cannot be what is different between what you. You do and, and your what analogy, does. your analogy can't be that she was a non-smoker, and I'm threatening that she or okay. um, pointing that's out not, that she might become the, a smoker. That's not the important that's part. That's not analogous. There's a diff- that's not the important part. The important part is there is a difference between saying. No, the the history is the important fucking part, Max. It's not, Cherry, because what you said out loud was. Yeah. There's no, your misinterpretation no of it, the fact that said, I'm being short and what, witty with it, just just fuck all the way you, off. You I'm sorry I didn't do it in a meta fucking way for you. Okay, it's not that you but didn't no, do it in I'm a never meta going way. to. It's that logically what you're saying doesn't make sense, and Steven's it making a comparison makes that makes sense. no sense. Hey, it mom, doesn't make Dad, any sense. I hate when you guys fight. Please let okay, me finish. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense me. to say um, that they do the same thing. They don't do the same thing. You could say I think you're going to do the same thing as Genevieve, and that makes you a hypocrite. But you can't say I think you currently do the same thing. And then when she says, well, actually, I don't. Taking requests you is a pretty big difference. You can re-explain what the fuck you said. I'm going to dismiss Cherry, it in Cherry. the same way. Don't Cherry, care. Just, Cherry, just take it down a notch. You're also, um, in, you're also invalidating. And Steven, I don't, I don't believe that you don't see the difference between those okay, two things. I, I mean, there are arguably there is a difference. I just don't think they're please, relevant. Please, yeah. please, 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 please. This is so f- stupid. Okay, anyway, what I was saying, I was going down the f- list. That was the least significant one. I don't take requests. I will never say that sex work is empowering me. I will never tell 18-year-olds that it is a 
viable I'm, option to go into sex work. I don't think that people should go into sex work. I'm so gonna look back and see that you don't say sex work is empowering now. I just, want, I just want to make sure. It's I want to make sure. Empowering. Say it. Just say it. You, it's yeah, not empowering. I think I, think I feel. I think naked. I feel. I think I feel powerful. No, okay. I, no are, you've that. already f backed off. Can you, know you own anything? Cherry, Cherry shut the f up, you f oh, retard. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Call me. How hard is this to understand? Your brain is smooth. Listen to me. All I had to do was ask, "Are you sure?" And you back up off. That's it. That's all it takes. Terry, right. you can do you see why I don't want to talk to you? Jerry, what the f up. is the point? You can't Jerry. you can't talk to me because you're fing retarded. You don't understand oh. what I'm saying. Okay? You actually you, you actually do powerful. make me feel retarded. Feel powerful. Yeah, that you makes sense. do make it me makes sense feel retarded. That being around a smart person makes you fucking feel retarded. So I You can are feel smart. You I can are feel I can feel powerful when people are seeing me nude, and I'm like, oh yeah, people are paying to see me naked. Cold. I feel very powerful. Okay, so you acknowledge Cold. that you feel empowered. No, empowerment, women's liberation and empowerment has nothing to do with personal power. I feel personal power when I'm taking men's money. I do not feel empowered. It does not empower women to be naked online. Yes? Why don't you just say it's I'm a double-edged gonna... sword? <laughs> Exact. That's true. It is a double-edged sword. But also, I'm talking oh, about God. on a small scale and on a big scale. I can feel in power my body, and I got I got mad at Genevieve for this because she was like, "What's the difference?" There is a big difference between wait, feeling wait, powerful. Wait, wait, wait. wait, do you feel more powerful before they ejaculate or after? I just want to know where the power is. After. Dude. After I got. Are you are you not able to participate in this conversation? I'm no. trying my best, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, well, you... I'm, I'm not caught up I'm not caught up, I'm not caught up with the lore. I'm listening. I We're not the watch. most mature group of people to begin with, but damn. Yeah. Don't you watch cuties? Oh uh, my I have watched by. I yeah. I, ha I, run, run, I, cuties, I used to watch cuties. Yeah, what happened? Did did you run out of filler episodes? Uh, it's a it's a movie, not a TV show. So there's only oh, there's only okay. yeah, you it wish, gets kind of wish, repetitive. You wish it was One Piece. You wish it was. Well, so anyway, so I, 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 you know you know when you look at old porn from like no, 20 years ago and you think watch, like you don't watch porn. No, I don't. Okay, sometimes this weird thing happens. You're looking at porn from like 20 years ago and and like the girl's like you know 19 or 22 or something. But in the back of your mind, you're like, wow, this woman's like 40 now. And something about just just the knowledge of that turns you off. And I think it's been two years since Cuties came out. And I, I, when, 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 when I'm watching it, I'm oh, thinking these 11-year-olds are now 13, and it's just so disgustingly old to me. I, I just lose all interest. Max. You're bored of it. Yeah. Why'd you say 40? Why are you adding zeros, bro? What? I gave you Why an you example about 20-year-old porn. You don't gotta hide. Can I can I get off topic? Lav, are you? Do you identify as a witch? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, listen, guys. I, I no, gotta Max. Go. I'm asking. Oh, you're <clears throat> leaving. Sorry. Okay. No, I, I told. You. Hey, Sorry, hey, Max. We will talk hey. tomorrow or so, fuck sometime soon. Okay. I promise. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk to Steven about our relationship. Yeah. Um, I feel things are tense. Yeah. We'll talk. I don't no, think no, anything. No, you can see we're, we're we're bickering, and uh, I want to clear Max, the air. Just stay, okay. Max. Just stay. I'm totally. Well, I think he has stuff he has to do. No. No. I have to go. I'm a personal trainer, and I have to train my client. Um. But also. We'll see you on the playground. Um, I, I also, Steven, I have to warn you. Uh oh. Uh, I'm fed up with your subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And uh, uh, this isn't all your fault, just partly. But I, I'm uh -huh. just, uh, I'm drafting a declaration of war on uh, our destiny. Okay. Um, Join. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to declare war on your subreddit. Uh, I think forethought is, is probably the, my biggest problem. But okay. of course, he answers to you. So. You know, um, but that I see that as a separate relationship uh, from our relationship to you. I feel like we can be generals who respect each other and and, and are friends and, and love each other and yet are also at war. Okay. I don't consider myself at war with you, but okay. Well, I'm going to declare war on your subreddit. Okay. I have to a remote. Now, my subreddit is a very small, uh, I, I, yeah, I probably won't feel like you're at war. Hold on, Max, are you banned? Yes. You're banned off YouTube right now? Yeah. Why? What did you do? Uh, I was banned for a video that I posted two years ago uh, that I Was it like word? You said the N-word? No, uh, it had nudity in it from, <laughs> from clips from movies. 
my channel was, uh, this video was taken down. It was reinstated by YouTube and um, age restricted. And then they banned me for that same video okay, two years Max, later. Max, before you go, why have we not addressed the elephant in the room? Lav Loon is jealous of Sherry because she has a crush on Steven. Nobody stop, please it. stop. Don't Can we that. just go back to the other thing? I think Max, we all have it was a crush great on to Steven. see you. Max, it was great to see you. Am I allowed to call into hotline? Or are you still? Are you still? No, you're. Yeah, you're a fish. You're a hundred percent unbanned. Nice. You I'm can... hosting Hotline this Saturday. Co that's. I actually don't remember asking, but that's super okay. sick. Okay. Guys. I mean, that's fine. Um, it's good to see you, uh, Stephen. If I don't talk to you for a week, have a good uh, trip or whatever you're doing. Okay. Uh, I love you and uh, take care of yourself. Okay, I love you all. Okay, you're okay. Max is leaving. Lav and. Cherry are re-engaging in a healthy can, Yeah, can manner. we go back? Do you do you identify as a witch? <laughs> yeah. And you're part of a coven. I am, yeah. Um, do you think that it's reasonable for me to um to not want to engage with you for that? Um, yeah, I, it's reasonable for you to not want to engage with me for any reason. It's your it's your body. <laughs> okay, because the first night we talked, um, I told you what I was doing, and you asked me if I believe in astrology. And then yeah. it, that's why I timed you out the first day, because I thought that you were just going to be... Um, oh. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't think that I'm, like, that that into it. Um, it's, like, fun. My coven is mostly, like, a group of women who I really love, and we, like, come together and, like, meditate with each other, which I think is really cool. But uh, I'm not, like, I don't know, like, I'm not, like, a, I'm not, like, casting spells and hexes. Do you know the subreddit, um, which is verse patriarchy? Cause I, no. I frequent that a bit. Okay. What is the patriarchy? I forget. <laughs> you, you Johnny, forget. Johnny, get out is of that... here. Go to, go to bed, Grandpa. Take your meds. Get, Wait, I want to know sleep. why she called you a bitch. Like, why are you a cunt? I don't get it. Me? I'm just, I'm, I'm mean. I'm... I'm blunt in a way that doesn't, um... She's blunt and it's wrong. It's not very... It's She's not, aggressive and it's wrong. She's not kind. A lot of people receive me as a bitch. It's fine. I think it's fair. You can call me a bitch. You can call me mean. I, I think it comes off that way, for sure. Okay. Bye, Zarka. I love you, Zarka. Bye. Be careful. Okay. Go. Oh, <sighs> Jesus. But anyway, all, that list of things I said, that is why I got on uh, Genevieve and I'm not doing those things that I got mad at Genevieve for. Um, and I'm also and acknowledging my place in that I'm uh, like adding to like an oppressive structure, but also like my hands are tied because I like to make money. Uh, even though you brought up my fiance, whose money is not my money. Um, and yeah. Okay. Um... Does he does he keep the bank accounts from you? Uh, Has he from... told you he's gonna support you when you stop sex work? N n no, oh, I mean he. I'd like to. Uh, we have a very uh, dual partnership relationship um, dynamic, so I don't feel comfortable right now in the relationship not contributing. Um, I, I like to buy things. I like to collect things. I'm like a big things person. And I don't want to spend all of his money on like my things. Like, uh, I like to cosplay so you... a lot. I like to get costumes and mm -hmm. I don't think that he should be forced to pay for them. So you have hobbies and you would like a disposable income to be able to do those things without um, going into his wallet. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Um, the Genevieve thing, do you think it's fair that she was making arguments, trying to get you to empathize or understand or not victimize her as a sex worker? Um, you she were pretty firm against it. You pretty firm against it, told her that she was immature and that she's a victim and she doesn't know it. And mm -hmm. then you later on move on at least one or two of the things that she was advocating for that you told her would never be okay. Um, and in like your... What? What would never be okay? Posting nude photos of yourself for money. Uh, yeah, like it, it would never be empowering. It's not that it would never be okay. Like I don't no, think you that said she that should go getting, to jail. You said getting money for it is objectifying and it is. telling and giving men um, and teaching men that they can do this. 
Yeah, so I have not moved. I'm I'm just black pilled on it, and I like I I still think that that's true. I think that there are ways that you can do that like less so, right? Like I think that if you're sublimating yourself in like a hardcore porn scene where someone's like abusing you, that's a lot more oppressive okay, than I just posting a topless nude. I just um, wanted to get to my point that uh, there were there were things that she said that um, that she wanted to argue were fine. You said no, it's never okay. Um, you've moved on them since. Now you've no, I, found I, no, justification for you No, I just told you, you I have them. not moved. No, you've no, found I'm justification not, to do I'm that. Not, no, I'm not so, justifying what I'm doing. If you've heard me talk about it, I say that I know that I am partaking in it now. But I... I the but is the justification. No, 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 no. I'm not... No, there's no excuse. I think that I am contributing to my oppression. But... But it makes... It pays but bills. you want money for your hobbies. Yeah. Okay. So, that, the, that's problem that, the problem the that I see... Stands. Okay. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense that you don't want to do it anymore because nothing of what you're saying is valid or makes sense. Because you don't own up to anything that you're saying or doing. Girl, it's so how am annoying. I, I, no, the problem is that I did own up to it, and you're like, oh, fuck, what do I do now? I just acknowledge that I'm, I'm engaging in a power structure that is oppressive to me, and you're like, oh, fuck, what do I do? Like, I just, I just bit the bullet. No, and you're you like, don't. Oh. Yes, I just did. You're saying, uh, okay, no, everything that you're saying is contradictory. You, how would you want her, to, what do you, when you say own up, how would you want her to own up? Well, this up? is, hold on, if Cherry wants to do this argument, Cherry, what you need to do is, you need to have like two or three clips, you're like, this is clearly what you're I know saying. I and do. This yeah, that's why I asked if there was like a particular thing. And I haven't over. edited that video yet. And uh -huh. okay. yeah, so, that's but I can on. use this towards it too. This is the, the current version of her. So thank you for my new clips. <laughs> Okay. I just, yeah, I don't know what owning up to means. Like uh, what Stardust was saying. You 100% like, I, 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 don't know what owning it up to it means. That's um, your existence. Yeah, what does that, no, so what does that, what does that look like to you? Because I just, I, to I me. I think the issue that she has is that when you say something like, whenever you do this action, it's like participating in some kind of oppression. And then you say, but I'm doing this action. But then you say, well, it's okay. When, when you say something is okay. It's not okay. Wait, stop. When you say it is okay, because you're doing it, but you say it's okay that you're doing it, right? No, I just said, I think I'm engaging in something that oppresses me ultimately. Wait, then but why are you doing it? it. Then, you, then you should but it's support me criticizing you. But if it's, but if it's, but if it's worth it's it, then worth it's- it's worth it, it's worth it. I'm, I'm, I'm engaging in harm reduction for me. So I'm engaging in a different type of sex work so that I don't feel as much harm. Wait, but and if I'm it's worth it- I'm getting as much it. benefits. I'm adding benefits and reducing harm. Yeah, but th that makes it okay then, right? Uh, who's, I, I guess, okay? I don't know what okay means. I don't- Is like, drinking alcohol okay? It depends. Okay. If you're an is, alcoholic, have, I'm, we're, not, we're not talking how, about having an alcoholic. Is interesting at, for anyone. Wait, no, I'm just asking. Is it okay to like drink alcohol? Like, let's say you have a drink once a week or whatever, right? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. So that's that's okay. That's okay. That's it. We don't have to say that like, well, it's not okay to ever drink, but we can engage in harm reduction by being mindful of our dosage and trying no, to. No, it like would that. be like if it, it would be like if an, a recovering alcoholic was like, or someone who quit drinking was like, but I'm gonna drink once a week, and they're like, okay, well, you know, I had a problem with this before. I'm pacing myself, and also I'm acknowledging that like alcohol is like really bad for me, so I have to pace myself, and also I'm going to reduce the harm while maximizing the benefits. That is exactly but what I'm doing. But the difference is that. Drinking no, the alcohol. Can you let me? Oh, God. Can you let me? You came in, in your entrance here, throwing shots at any woman who said positive things about sex work, who justified doing sex work, who were putting nude pictures or their boobs on the internet saying that these women are the reason why you, at 18, got into sex work and did all of the harm that you've done to yourself that Madam has led Genevieve, you to where yes. you are. And now you're just... You you don't even see where you are being a hypocrite. Okay, well, and Madam Genevieve is the type of person. Madam Genevieve is giving you the argument to feel good about what you're doing. And even in your comeback video, where you concede on a few of the things that she's fine with, you end up dragging her and saying, "Oh, Madam Genevieve has a really unhealthy engagement with sex work." On your entrance back into uh, like she does, opening she a Patreon. Realize, no, because you she just, doesn't. 
She, I, I called her retarded because she doesn't acknowledge the bigger picture, which is that empowerment, that feeling powerful does not mean empowerment. Women's liberation does not happen from sexualizing yourself. What but happens just, now what point, is that my dream is dead. <laughs> my women's point, lib dream is dead. That's, at what, what that, point, that's what has changed. But I still stand in the same at fucking- what, <laughs> At what point do you realize, you know what? Maybe I'm traumatized. Maybe I don't really have a grasp on what I'm comfortable or no, not comfortable not, with. No, no. And am going Why to are you stop me making it doing? other Why? women's responsibility. At what point do you do that? You're doing that to me right now. I'm saying I'm fucking fine. I'm saying I'm fine. I've built up six years of a callus so I could deal with this. What I'm trying, <laughs> John, what I'm trying to make happen is that 18 year olds <laughs> don't follow in my footsteps and have to harden themselves the way that I have. I've gone through immense trauma in the past six years ultimately i've gotten to a point where i'm like fuck it my nudes are going to be online anyway i'm going to do whatever i want to do and i'm going to make money from it and that's just my life right i'm trying to prevent that from happening to so other in, women i don't think the that conversations cheapens, people explain i don't think that, to you i don't think that i don't think serious. i do not think i do not think that that cheapens what i'm saying at all i'm saying it's okay for me it wasn't always it's okay for me now though because i've gotten to a point where i can handle it i don't think that everyone can handle it and especially you can't handle I don't, it when you're okay, wait, wait, wait. can i ask even, a, can i ask an important you question you can't even just, handle your own vods staying up online. well just just so, a question yeah. what's the difference then between where you, wait, 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 up, real quick what's the difference between what you're doing now versus what madame genevieve does so like i said i i'm first of all i'm i'm posting lewds where she's posting like more porn stuff and she's having parasocial relationships with these people which is uh, like a little different okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. one thing at a time when you and say also, you're posting lewds what does that mean because even on your twitter i think you post like well, nudes don't you you have like yeah, your tits well, or yeah, your she's nipples got her bloody tits on, pinned up at the top yes my well i don't want to i don't want to go into i don't want this to be an ad for my only fans but i'm posting things that are not okay i'm posting things that are not like um hardcore like i'm not posting pornography i am posting nudes though and i put i am potentially i'm thinking about like directing some sort of um like how to like educational pornography sure so, that's one we'll thing but you're still going to be posting nudes right yes so you're posting nudes so i don't know why you said lewds so you and madame genevieve are similar in that you're both well, you're both because posting i'm not boobs. posting well i'm not i'm I'm only, I'm not posting uh, some things that are nudes. I don't know what, what that, I don't know what that means. You're not I'm posting not your pussy anything. or? Yeah, what is the yeah, fundamental I'm, difference between you and, and, and. Wait, yeah, that's what I'm asking. So, well, well yeah. okay, so the fundamental difference is not in our content. It's the way that we go about talking about our content. Wait, so then, the no, 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 difference. hold on. Let's slow down. You don't believe that, okay? You, you're only, no, I do believe that. Your only problem with her has nothing to do with her content. It's the way that she talks about her content? I think, well, I've had problems with both because she was No, wait, wait, about, wait, don't. Hold on. One she, was, thing she was talking about Stop ah, one thing at a fucking time. Stop bringing up 20 I'm million things. You. No, you're she, not. I'm fucking answering you. She had a problem with, a, or she, I had a problem with her being like very pro BDSM. She said that she did BDSM stuff and I'm very, I'm very anti BDSM. Okay, so then your problem now has nothing to do with sex work. You just have a problem with BDSM. Well, no, no, it's sex wait. work. It's sex work in wait. BDSM. No, no, wait, hold on, Chase. Hold on. Uh, wait, so you, uh, no, because we skipped over something. I don't care. We're skipping over everything. I just want to go one line of questioning without somebody veering okay, off. Go, go, go. Okay, so then you don't have a problem with any sex work. You have a problem with BDSM. No, I have a I have a problem with sex work because I think it's oppressive to women. But I don't have a problem with sex workers necessarily. Okay, if you have a problem with sex work, why would you make content showing women how to do sex work? Or how no, I, no, 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 I wouldn't show them how to do sex What are work. you directing? Uh, I, I'd be directing, I'd be like, how to, how to like make yourself orgasm, how to have like an effective orgasm, how to um, give like a blowjob, how to give, um, you know, how to eat pussy, like stuff like that. It's like educational, not how to become a sex worker. I would never do something like that. Okay, we're done with this line of questioning. Okay, I want to focus on the BDSM thing. Okay, so what is your problem with her content? You mentioned BDSM. So is the problem just anything related to BDSM is bad or what? I don't understand this. Um, I think it's intersectional. I think it's a couple things with Madame Genevieve. I don't think it's like one thing to pinpoint. So if you're looking for that one thing to pinpoint, like I don't, I don't have a good answer. I'm not looking for the one thing. I'm just trying to find, I don't know why you don't like her content. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't understand. Well, no, I don't like, no, my pro my biggest problem with Madame Genevieve is that she was, she was not acknowledging that there was a greater thing at play, which is that she is capitalizing off of her oppression. That's like what she would not recognize. 
That was my problem. Okay, so hold on. So no, you don't have wait, 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 wait. So you don't have a problem. She, it doesn't with, matter if she doesn't wait, feel oppressed. So you don't she have feels oppressed. You, first of all, that's it kind of matters sometimes. But so you're saying you don't Not have a problem with with you don't have a problem with any of the work she's doing, just her feelings about the work she's doing. I have the same. Let's say this. I have the same amount of problem with that she's doing that I'm doing now. Oh, so then you don't really have any problems with her? Not with what she's doing, no. Not with, uh, no. Oh okay. my god, how did you say everything and nothing? Yeah, what okay, so mean? then we so we have no problems with Madame Genevieve now. You just don't like her, no, I, the no, way that I she talks, or you don't have with, problems with her content. She talks about it, yeah, no, I don't have a okay, problem with Okay, but so then what, what you just said about like BDSM, that was just not a thing, or? No, I, I have a, no, I have a problem with that also, but I don't know how much of it, that's, that was like another thing that we brought up that she also didn't understand was oppressive towards women. That was like a, that was like, like I said, this is like, this intersects at like a bunch of different levels. Like there's no okay, one Okay, hold on. I love you, Lav. I'm in love with you. Okay. I'm telling you that. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. I love you too. But every time you say intersectional, what you really mean to say is, I don't want to justify whatever I'm saying. So I'm going to say intersectional so that it sounds more complicated True. than it actually Steven, is. That, that, I'm just no, saying, Steven. when you say it, that's what it feels like. Okay. So okay. please. Steven, Steven, you just said that. And then a second ago, when I brought up more than one point, you were like, it's too much. So what's the truth? What do you want me to do? Here's what I'm saying. Okay. Let's say somebody says, murdering people is bad and i go you think murdering someone is bad and they're like well if it's like a black person outside at night it's bad and i'm like okay wait so is murdering somebody bad when they're is it only bad when they're black and you're like well it's intersectional well hold on you you brought up like the black thing and it's like well yeah murdering black people is bad is it always so it's always bad to murder black people well it's intersectional depends even, on if it happens even, at night or not okay even, wait hold on that this is what you're doing every time you say intersectional you're not like i don't right okay so here's the problem I don't know right now if you think BDSM is good or bad. I don't know if you think sex work in BDSM is good or bad. I don't know if you think your content is the same as Madame Genevieve's because of her opinions. I don't know if you think that Madame Genevieve is good or bad just because of her thoughts on her content. So if she thought something different, it would be okay. But because she thinks what she thinks, it's bad. I don't know if it's just the like, I don't know the answer to any of these questions. All I know is that it's well, all intersectional. Oh, okay, then I'll, I'll answer them. I think that Madame Genevieve is probably a fine person. I think that she's- No one is asking if she's a fine person. That's not any of the questions. You just said bad or good. You just when said, I said bad, bad When good. I say bad, I'm saying that in res with respect to the sex work she does. That's what we're talking about. Holy fucking shit, Steven. I'm what? making it so fucking clear. It's I'm saying, not I'm clear to anybody. How is it not clear to anyone? I, I, I have a problem with the way that she engages in sex work. Okay, like, let's I just do that one thing. Way. What is your problem with how the way, the way that she engages with sex work? I don't like the parasociality. Okay. I don't like. When you say, I don't like the fact that she sublimates herself. Okay, I don't stop, like the stop, fact stop. That she takes, when you keep rambling, it you makes. You just it fucking said, Stephen. You just asked me to name the fucking things, and then what I did, you were like, "That's too much." So what? It's do not you too much. Want? Okay, I'm sorry. Let me make it clear what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to figure out what you think about each of these particular things and why they're bad. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Okay. So I don't. I don't like the. I don't like the way uh, that she talks about. No, 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 no. Well, you work. said the first thing you said was parasociality yes why is what what do you mean by that and then tell me what you think she does think it, it and is, then tell me what i you think, think it's it bad. is predatory i think it is predatory what is it what is parasociality engage, yeah uh, to engage with people who uh have like a sexual social relationship with you and also take their money and also these are just people who are like your fan i think that that is predatory okay so i have Can a problem you, with that wait, okay yeah. let's focus on that one thing i know you want to be intersectional but on that one thing okay, okay? Yeah. Why is it so when you say parasociality, do you mean just like talking to people that like you take money for nudes for or uh yeah, like engaging with them on a social in a social manner at all. Can you hear me? We can hear yeah. you, yes. Okay. Why is that bad? Um, because I think that it ruin I think that it's unfair to the buyer because that's not like a real relationship, but they think that it is a real relationship and it's not. You're just you're just getting money from that person. Do you think that there are ways that you can do disclosure such that those people are aware of what's going on? So like, I know that when I send Informed centered... consent, sure. But I don't think that, it, I don't think that that changes the effects that it has on the brain. I don't think that these like, I don't, yeah, I don't necessarily think that those men are like, they're not gaining anything from those relationships. They're well, actively they, no, losing- No, no, hold on. They are gaining something. They have somebody to talk to and sex with or whatever. And then in exchange for that, they get that's but that's bad for like society because then they're not getting like a girlfriend they're not getting they're not like they, they can't interact with women on like a normal level why are you going online to that that's like not good for men if you're gonna make the argument that generalized then couldn't we use that same generalized thing that a man could engage with something that might prohibit his um social pursuit of women couldn't we use that for all porn 
yeah, I'm not like pro, I'm not super pro porn. Okay, you've literally argued with me in the past on stream saying you're not anti-porn, and now you're saying you're not pro-porn. Do you think well, that all think, the porn, do you no, think that porn not, is a bad thing? I'm not, I'm, pro, I'm not, yes, I think it's a bad thing, but I don't want to legislate porn out of the world. Okay, I'm not, we're not even talking about law right now. We're just talking about if okay, things are good or okay, bad. Okay, but you're asking my opinion, and I'm telling you it's like it's really nuanced. I don't think that porn is great for anyone, but I don't necessarily think it should be abolished. Okay, a nuanced opinion doesn't mean that you don't take a position on anything. Okay, that's not what nuanced means. No, okay? my position is that I do not I do not like porn. I don't think that porn is good for society. I've never, okay, I'm just saying that if you're going to say that a person engaging in some, like, DMing a sex worker might prohibit them from being a, like, um, might prohibit them from... It can. Per, yeah, it I, it's potentially sure. predatory. And, and, do, you, and, do you think it's ever necessary? Wait. What do you mean necessary? That this is a service that could be good for somebody. Uh, that could benefit their life. Sure, I think it's more the potentiality for it being predatory. So because there is a harmful way to interact with it, nobody should find a benefit if they can. Uh, it should be well, removed. Well, no, that's obviously very clearly not what I'm saying because I'm doing sex work. I'm reducing harm and maximizing benefit. That's like well, exactly for, what but you're, you're doing. But you're harm. automatically looking at Genevieve and seeing a, um, a parasocial interaction that she has maybe with others that, that you would view as bad, sure. so, but you're not sure if that bad is the extreme bad or if it's the justified situation. You're making sure. that assumption. Uh, no, but that's like one thing. So that's like an added, that's like an, that's like one thing that I got mad at Madame Genevieve for because she she had mentioned that she's like, I talk to all my, my subs and we have great relationships. And I was like, yike, a warning bell. Yeah, so um, you are assuming that the parasociality is a negative. Yeah, because I think it usually okay. is. Okay. Yeah. Um, the other thing was that I thought that she was really naive and stupid for not uh, understanding that personal empowerment was not like women's Wait, well, I don't want to move off that topic. Okay, hold on. Because I, I don't think we've... Okay, yeah, sorry, if you you're going to tell me that you have a nuanced opinion on something, that means you've got to be ready to say more than two sentences about it when pushed. Nuance no, doesn't I, mean that you say, I don't even, have a position on this I, at all. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. That's not nuanced. That. That's called fence sitting. Okay, well, you just gave me the whole, that. like, the whole nine yards of drama of, like, oh, my God, he's going to ask me more than three questions about the... That's what you just did to me. No, we... I thought I had already answered your fucking question. No, right Cherry fucking cut me off to ask you some other okay. questions. Okay, continue. Continue. I will continue. Okay. Okay, if you think that porn can inhibit- Wait, do you think- I'm sorry, I'm just curious. <laughs> okay. If you think that porn can inhibit somebody's ability to pursue relationships, just like parasociality can, then don't we kind of think that all porn or all sex work is kind of bad in that sense? Uh, no. So like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that like educational videos are bad, right? Because okay, then, but I, educational, let's make that not porn, because that's that's obviously a minority. Okay, so then I'm not doing porn. Okay, so you're not going to post any nude f photographs of yourself just meant well, to be enjoyed. It's going to be all educational stuff. Well, people can jack off to those. Like people that's are not going what to I jack asked. I don't know what, what you're talking well, about. Well, I can't control. I can't control what people. What do I'm asking is, are you not going to post any random nudes or naked stuff? You're only going to post educational stuff. No, I will post naked stuff also. Okay, so that's porn. Sure, I think that I think that still images are a little different than porn. No, that's porn. Yeah, no. So well, you sure, think the Playboy it's still magazine porn. wasn't porn? No, I think it, that it is, but it's also much different than like the hardcore porn that it we're is, seeing. It is, and it is. It's, it's different. It's different than hardcore porn, but it's still yes. porn. They're different types sure. of porn, but it's still porn. Yes, I think it. I think it's less harmful though. Why? Do you think photos no, of kids? Just, no, no. Do you think CP is No, why? Stop. Okay. Just, why do you think still pictures are meaningfully different than like Wait, videos? with the CP thing, do I think a picture oh of a God. kid is fine? Yeah, but if someone is masturbating to the picture of a kid, it's not fine, right? I'm sorry. Go back to what, what Steven was talking about. Okay. Stupid hypothetical. Why? I'm it, so stupid. Naked pictures are still porn, right? Sure. Okay, so I'm okay. I'm I'm very like pro, or I'm I'm very like a pro sexuality. We're very, not talking about sexuality. We're talking about porn. 
I understand that. So I think that I think that there are certain things that um, can become like maladaptive in porn, right? Well, no, we're not talking about maladaptive things. We're just talking about porn. That's the pro well. That's the problem that I have with porn. It's not that inherently watching two people have sex is like what's wrong with porn. It's the meta conversation around porn. It's porn addiction. It's uh, it's men's uh, propensity to like uh, search for uh, harder porn or more intense porn. It's the age at which people are watching porn for the first sure. time. I understand it's all of these random, now you're doing the thing where you're saying it's intersectional, you're just naming a whole bunch of shit that's not related to our conversation. No, Steven. I'm telling you the pro the issues that I have with porn. Yeah, you've gone back inherently... before because you didn't want to go down this line of thought, and now we're back at that. Well, it's bad because of this and the meta and the blah blah blah. Steven, we've lost the conversation. That's not meta. That's no. I'm having a conversation, dude. I feel like I'm going fucking crazy. Everything I'm saying, I, mm -hmm. my problem is not two people having sex with each other on camera. That is not the problem. Okay, so then you don't have a problem with porn intrinsically. You just have a problem with the way society engages with porn, or what? I've talked about that, like anti, like I'm, I'm, I don't want to, I don't, I want to make porn not free, so that you're able to, you no, need no, to. Oh, um, why did you just do that? Why did you just say? Why did you talk about whether or not porn should cost money or not? We weren't talking about pricing models. Why did you say no, that? Because it, because it, it, you cannot watch porn unless you have like a, a credit card. Like okay, but we're not, it. we're not talking about business so models. People, so then, no, so then people under 18 cannot watch it and cannot build a sexual We're not talking about porn. kids watching porn. Yes, we, Steven, I'm telling you the problems I have with porn and how I don't I want care to about the problems you have with porn. We were talking about whether so or not. So what are you fucking asking me, Steven? Whether a picture counts as porn. And it seemed like the answer was yes. And so then my question. Yeah. So then my question was, what's meaningfully different then if we think that porn as a whole category of stuff is bad? Porn as a cat? I don't think that, like I said, pictures of a naked body or pictures of people having sex is inherently bad. I just said that. Okay, so then porn isn't bad. It's the stuff around the porn that's bad. Yes, we've had this conversation on three separate occasions in three different ways, and I've always, always ended here where you're like, so porn isn't bad inherently. And I'm like, no, it's what's around it that's bad. We've had this conversation 60 times. We invited Kai on to debate me and we we got to the same point also. I have not flip-flopped on this. Okay, so if porn isn't bad, what is your problem with like Miss Genevieve? I just- Sure, I know, I just wanna hear it again. I'm slow, me. I'm really stupid. So get, tell me, remind me. So porn okay. isn't bad and porn sex workers aren't bad. So what is your problem the, with Miss Genevieve? It's the, it's the selling it as empowerment. She was very pro referral program. That was a big deal for me. I thought that was disgusting. Um, she also said, we also thought about like BDSM. Uh, she said that it was her sex. She said that um, sexuality was, was, you couldn't separate human sexuality from selling sex. Like sex work and sexuality were like, the same thing or they had no difference she came off as very stupid to me uh what what was the other girl's name um who was also the sex okay worker? okay let's so Aoife, now let's Aoife? Aoife? Sure, let's back up to the name? first thing you said okay. i had much less of a problem with her much less of a problem with her okay my problem Let, was with genevieve okay, because of genevieve okay. okay okay so we don't have a problem with porn we don't have a problem with sex workers we just have a not inherently with... porn. I have a problem with porn. Like that's the, what I, I just porn. said. But when I, I say that, I said that. I actually no, said but that. You and you're said, correcting you, you... me, even though I said it. Why? No, because I know. Because I know we're gonna fucking loop again if I. We're don't... not looping. Okay. I'm taking notes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, okay. I don't think that porn inherently is bad. We sure. don't have a problem with porn. Mm -hmm. We don't have a problem with people that work in porn intrinsically. No. We have a problem with the environment that they exist in. Yes. Okay. And the environment that they're adding to. Okay. But it's the environment, right? Yes, but they also, like, they also can make it worse and better. Okay. How can they make it worse? So they make it worse by engaging in, like, more hardcore types of porn. Okay. So then, do you think that hardcore porn is necessarily a bad thing? Yes. Okay, how do you define hardcore porn? And tell me Violet. what you think it's... Okay, how do you define... But also, no, because I think that... No. 
Yeah, no. I do. Yeah, I okay, do. I'll delete. Wait, okay. I'm writing violent. Okay. So when you say violent, what, is, what does that mean? Like, does light choking or hair pulling or spanking, does that count as violence? I think, like, uh, maybe, I don't, I don't, uh, today, no. Okay, I'm so, mostly talking about, like, facial abuse porn. I'm talking about, uh, like, uh, CNC. I'm talking about, um, mm -hmm. yeah, stuff Bloody like tits? that. No. I don't even know how to play this anymore. Um, okay. So let's, so can you tell me like for, as like a rule of thumb, like why do you consider these things like bad? Um, I think there's like data proving that it like no, people no, no, who let's, are- let's, we're No, 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 let's, we're not worried about that right now, okay? Okay, I'm just, it's the same, the same reason I think that child porn is bad. I think that it enforces, it wait, enforces why do you, you think to child, dehumanize women. Wait, 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 hold on. Why do you think child porn is bad? Um, be, because it, it like it enforces it's like being, you obviously have to like abuse a child to create the porn of them. It's the same thing in porn where you have to actively like abuse a woman to get the video of it, okay. right? Like that's bad. CNC um, stands for? Consent, non-consent. Okay. Why is having sex with children bad? Why is having sex with children bad? Yes. Uh, because their like brains are not developed, and you're and like, because uh, their brains are not developed, they can't consent, right? Sure. So consent, non-consent, is different than child porn because adults can consent. Sometimes, right? sometimes I think that that's true. Sometimes I think that adults, yeah, adults should be able to. I don't. I don't I propose like. Again, legislation against this. We're not talking I about legis. I don't know who brought that up. Because because I think I'm I don't have an extreme position on this. I just don't think I don't I didn't it. ask you if you had an extreme position on it. But I'm okay. I'm telling you where I'm at with it though. I'm, I'm Dude, just, stop playing Doom and take fucking notes. I am following the conversation. <laughs> no, it, it seems like you're you're actually not following the conversation. He is following, and that's why he's like he's breaking down. No, that's everyone not fucking, is following. That's not, and you're actually doing porn right now because you're fucking all of our minds without <laughs> consent, Stop. lab. Stop. Stop. True. Okay. L okay. I let's... do not think that this is hard to understand, like at all. Can I explain why I think it's hard to understand? Sure. Or am I going to get interrupted? <laughs> okay. I think it's hard to understand because I think a lot of sexually active people um, that engage in a lot of sexual activities would say that it's possible for two people to practice consensual, non-consensual behavior in a way that's fun and healthy for everybody involved. And that if we can engage in a behavior as two people in a consensual manner, we can probably watch people engage in it consensually in a way that is fine. That, that, so that's where the confusing part comes from. A part of me agrees with you. And then the other part of me uh, n knows that women are, who are likely to engage in stuff like this are often uh, doing negative feedback loops because they were once abused or because, uh, you know, there's like a bunch of things that go into something like this. Wait, so you can ask, ask her about like, men who get wh dominated. Ask her about I men. Do, wait, wait. Oh, she, she doesn't have to ask me about that. I know all about that. No, no, wait. wait um, so, <laughs> you don't seem to be worried about them. Please the stop. Please stop. Okay. Mike. You, do you think that there's a difference between men and women in society? No, 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 no. Why, no. why, why did we go off on women? this? No, 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 no. We don't have to do that, okay. When somebody says something is like intrinsically, I'm only explaining this for the chat. I know that everyone in here knows what this means, but I'm just explaining for the chat so we're all on the same page, okay? When somebody says that something is intrinsically bad, what that means is that if you tell me that thing is bad, I don't need any more information. I know that it's bad. So for instance, when somebody says, oh, yesterday, Jonathan raped Susie. Oh, well, rape is bad is rape implies a non-consensual sexual relationship. I don't need any more information. I know that that's bad, okay? So when I ask you if a thing is bad and you go, well, it can be bad, then what you're saying is that thing isn't necessarily bad. There are other things around it that can make it bad, okay? So, okay, when, so, so rape isn't necessarily bad because if you consent to being raped, then it's not necessarily bad. Do you see, like, your logic goes nowhere. No, so rape is one of those words that it's not really like, um, 
you don't generally, I guess you could like colloquially refer to it as consensual rape, but generally we call it like consensual non-consensual. It's kind of what the, is the name for the play, right? Okay, In the same way that like, wait, I'm just saying- what it is is consensual rape. Okay, we can call it that, but what I'm so saying- So is child porn not inherently bad, intrinsically bad? <clears throat> child pornography is intrinsically bad, yes. The reason why child pornography is intrinsically bad is because the concept of consent, of true consent, implies the concept of informed consent and the informing part- Exactly. Of, wait, let me finish! Ever the informing part of the consent can only be done by an adult. So children, definitionally, cannot consent. So tautologically, child porn is wrong because children can't consent. Yes. Okay, great. But do you think that mentally ill women who are caught in feedback loops are able to consent? No, they're not. That's why I would exactly. say it's probably immoral to have porn or sex with mentally ill people. But well, I wouldn't say the porn is bad, and I wouldn't say sex with women is but bad. People, yes, you're right, but people don't always know when they're mentally ill. People don't always know when they're engaging in a fucking feedback loop, Stephen. Okay, then, but your argument isn't having anything to do then with porn. Your argument has to do with... I guess helping people get mental help or whatever. It's a totally different conversation. It's not related I'm to sure. anything to do with porn. It no, actually has nothing coping. to do with porn at all. No, you're coping. That is literally, no, that has to do with porn because it enforces an idea that this is like normal. Yeah, so does it's TikTok like, with normal. people like glorifying mental illness, but it has nothing intrinsically to do with porn. And I'm also against that. Okay, what but I'm mean? just saying that what you're saying isn't in intrinsically tied into porn. It has to do with like mental health. It's like a totally different yeah, thing. Yeah, I told you I don't have a problem with watching two people engage in sex. But you are itself. making you're making it sound like there's something intrinsically wrong with like consensual non-consensual. I'm sure that there are there are conditions in which consent non-consent is okay, but vastly I would say it is not okay. Okay, so you don't have a problem with consensual non-consensual then. Your problem is just that sometimes people can engage with it in an unhealthy manner. Okay, yeah, I, if we're being like as pedantic as possible. We're not being pedantic, sure. we're being clear. We're being crystal clear with our language instead of saying it's nuanced and then not having a real answer for anything. Uh, sure, yeah, I, yes, I, I, but that's still like generally if I think that a majority of people who can, who are, are do consent, non-consent are doing it poorly and I'm against people doing it poorly, it would make sense that I'm against consent, non-consent, right? No, no, it does not actually logically follow at all. It doesn't no, logically I actually, follow I, at all. I think that that's stupid. I think that that's genuinely stupid, but okay, whatever. Okay, yeah. so then do you have a problem with sex in general? If most women have at least one like rape story with a guy, do, should we just say sex is bad, period? Because well, it seems like most people can't engage with it in a healthy way for at least the majority of their lives. You literally said if you cannot tell someone to stop, if you cannot consent or you cannot advocate for yourself, you should not be having casual sex. You have said that before. And that is also my position. Did I just fast forward in the VOD or? My question was, would we say that all sex is bad because a lot of people seem to not be able to engage with it in a healthy way? I don't no, think we would say that. So that, so we then we say, shouldn't say that all no, consent- we would, say, we would say do not engage in in sex if you could not do A, B, and C to make it healthy sex. Yeah, right? there'd be qualifiers, sure. Yeah, so I'd say do not watch CNC or engage in CNC if you don't actively know what's happening to you or how this could affect you, why you want this. Sure, so then consent oh, and, and non- how it affects, And how it affects society. Sure. So consent. And I think most people, and I think most people don't do those things before they engage in CNC. So I think it's normal to make a generalization that I'm not that I don't think that CNC is okay. Okay, then sex is not okay. Okay, no. I we just see it differently. I don't. Well, how do we? I'm just. I'm using your logic. You're okay, saying that I, since a lot of people engage in CNC in an unhealthy way, which is probably true. I probably believe that. You're saying if that's the case, then like we just shouldn't watch porn of it, probably at all. And I'm saying that, okay, well, it's the fact of the matter is, is that a lot of people can't even engage with sex in a healthy way. So well, it seems no, like we so should I just- think, so, I think, so I think it should be a cultural shift rather than like a legislative sh shift, right? I'm not talking about cultural legislature right now. Well, no, this is, well, this is my opinion on it, is that I don't think that we should abolish it, but that I think that we should have conversations around shit like this. It's like- I'm just asking you, we're not at like that this. part. I'm just asking what you think is right or wrong. Well, I, I'm kind of, I don't, I'm like, it's hard to say. It's hard to make, it's hard to say. Okay, I don't think it is hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say. Well, no, I don't think it's right to engage in CNC the way that most people do it. So that's, I'm going But that's to say, not saying whether or not you think it's right Steven, to engage in CNC. Steven, what? Steven, you're driving me crazy. You're driving me actually crazy. 
so so is it fair to say that do you think that most people who enter the porn industry are entering uh with a healthy state of mind no okay uh do you think that most people who enter um things like sex work um uh, like not only fans like taking pictures in your bedroom but like like sex work like um uh you know prostituting themselves uh do you think that most of those people who enter that are um entering it with the sound mind um but you think that there could be the conditions in which uh prostitution uh or or even porn there could be a, a theoretical world where um where we could have a porn industry where everybody who does enter it is entering, uh, you know, um, consensually from a good state of mind. You, that muted, is the hope. But, yeah. Um, okay. So, so then by so so then by that we could say like, sure, porn um, as it, the porn industry as it is is not the healthiest industry, but that doesn't mean that all porn is bad. And in fact, some porn could be good if it is done ethically and if all the people involved are um, getting a good deal and if all the people involved are uh, involving themselves from a, a sound um, a mental state. Um, I think we could say the same thing. Maybe we could extend that same thing to, to C and C, right? I don't know if you're muted or... Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, so um so I think you said yes. Yes. That yeah, with with CNC, um, even though there are a lot of people who engage in it who aren't engaging in it in health in a healthy manner, um, and a lot of people who are engaging in specifically CNC porn, um, and kind of uh, getting random things sprung on them as a surprise, um uh the generally that, that kind of porn we can say is um is, is harmful, is not healthy, things like that. But we can say that there could be circumstances in which we can make CNC porn um, healthy and positive, right? Actually, but I see, I think that that hope is, is, a, is a harder hope. I think that's more doubtful, but I think that there is potentially a reality. Well, I think it's as equally as doubtful as, as as porn in general is because porn in general, like you see people leaving the industry all the time. Um, that Lana Rhodes person and coming uh, back. That, sure, keep coming back. That Lana Rhodes person told a story about how she was on a scene and um, they sprung things on her last minute, um, and she didn't really feel comfortable saying no because she thought, you know, there are all these implications that you'll get blacklisted, all of these other things. Um, I think that we can look at porn and, and say it's it, the likelihood of it being a fully healthy industry is as rare as it would be with CNC, right? Sure. I think that there's more fallout, though, to CNC because that's like a you're you're actively like I don't uh, know about that because see, with porn, you know, um, again, people like Lana Rhodes have talked about people sustaining uh, like permanent bodily injury as a result sure. of the porn that they engage in, right? Like uh, with it, with the specific types of porn that they engage in, they, they sustain injuries. They, they, um, a lot of men in that industry are constantly taking drugs to keep themselves hard, hard. Sure, but that, sure, hours, but that right? stays, that stays in the industry, whereas CNC, like, enforces, like, a... Does it stay in the industry when we see that women are, are, there's a higher, um, percentage of women getting, like, uh, surgery on their labia? Sure, so like, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I think that they're, um, I think that they're similar. I still think that CNC has, but it, I mean, it has like the porn stuff, like the you know, it has like the you know the the evils of porn, but it also has like added, like you're beating up women, um, which is like I, I think makes it a little more significant. But I still think sure, that there is a hope. Added layer. Do you yeah. think? Do you think it's only women? Um, being dominated in these situations? No, or like but it you is, only it is care. vastly... Or you only is, infantilize and assume that women are mentally Jesus ill in these Christ, situations. Jesus Christ, Cherry. So, so, no, uh, it, is, uh, it is... Are you... Do you really think... Do you... First of all, there are two things happening here. One, the power structure that we live in. 
obviously affects women more, right? The power structure that we live in inside that's, and outside of porn. Just the second the patriarchy. Thing, that's the, thing, the person the that you thing, are. The second thing is that there is far more violent porn against women than there is against men, period. Far if more. I could, if I could interject really quickly, I don't think that... I, I don't think um, it would be wrong to say that uh, men also suffer from the porn industry. Like I said, um, it, we can look at plenty of examples. Um, men have to take all sorts of drugs to keep themselves True. hard for, for extended periods of time, and it can't be healthy for them. Um, and a lot of them are just like popping, you know, uh, stuff to keep them hard for hours and hours. And um, and obviously also men who are in those CNC porns um, are, are probably getting... Um, uh, you know, are in dangerous situations as well. There are men who are taking part in porn that does give them um, a permanent bodily injury. Um, but I think it's also, it's not inaccurate to say that the effects uh, of the porn industry, the negative effects of the porn industry, it's not inaccurate to say that those negative effects disproportionately are towards women, even though it does affect men and women, right? Sorry, did I talk too much? <laughs> no, I, I thought I, I I agree with you. I don't know. Was that to Cherry? Uh, yeah, it was to everybody. I, I don't think it was to me. Well, well, I mean, I mean, Cherry, do you think that do you think that it's fair to say that the porn industry does disproportionately negatively affect women? Even if we say that it does negatively affect men, we know that it disproportionately affects women, right? Um, so what I was putting out is Lav's take against BDSM, thinking that um, if you're a man and you get off at um, being violent towards a woman, there's something wrong with you. Women can't consent to this. They're retarded children. They don't know that they've been warped into it by the patriarchy. I think it's super infantilizing. You're generalizing, and there's a lot of people who feel infantilized at statements like that. And I think it's pretty... Um, I think it's pretty clear where that's coming from. Um, and I think it solidifies the fact that it is, it is infantilization because she doesn't seem to care about it in the reverse effect for men. Uh, I don't know. So she so, is so just she is just saying that I, women I do, are no, I mentally do, I do retarded. Care. I obviously do care if there is BDSM against men. Like, I don't I don't think that I'm not like, hell yeah, I'm, we should do that more. I like I, I just think that it's more of a problem for women. So I've taken that stance. Um, because so you've done you've done what most people probably fear about feminism is that like you you only like highlight where you feel like women are harmed and you don't actually empathize or no or see like, the ways like, in which it also affects so um, men I, and no. then it paints feminism as a very um uh, no you're like you're wanting this script you're wanting this script for me and it's like I'm like a Jordan it's, Peterson it's apologist. not a script um, I'm explaining uh, to you what rubs no, people the wrong way no okay, but okay you're, so you're, if I could that's not if what I, I could, do I think. I think um, I, I have some some things that Lav says um, I agree with, and some things that Lav says I disagree with. But um, I, okay, I think you could be a fence sitter too, too Star. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, it's cool. Um, uh, I, I think that um, I, I think that Cherry, you are not interpreting when I say these things about sex work, or I say these things about even uh, yeah, just sex work in general. Like that, we know that a lot of people who enter that industry. Um, are en entering it out of like dire circumstances or out of coercion or um, uh, or they started okay. coerced and, no, and they, I, and they I end understand. up. I understand. You understand that I'm issue. not coming from. Yeah, you understand I'm not coming yeah. from like a man hating. Uh, no, uh, I understand. Position. This is yeah. why when when we engage with what Lav is saying towards people like Genevieve who are saying this isn't their experience, they feel infantilized mm -hmm. when this is pointed out. They feel. Like they are actually being demeaned when they're told that they are immature and just victims and don't know it. It does feel sure, like your would, own, you're yeah. taking over their sexuality that they are trying to own. So, so in pointing I would, that I would out, she just manages to fucking change it into a different, like she just, she moves the fucking goalpost. Actually, I'm not talking about Genevieve. Actually, this is the big fucking problem. But she is doing the thing where she's deciding for women so when they have the agency, it. when they have the ability, if they have the ability. And she's basically Girl. telling you, if you consent and if you feel empowered, you're actually just a retarded child because um, the patriarchy. So the way that I would phrase this, um, I would never say to Genevieve that she's um, 
that she herself is a victim, right? I would never say that because I think that there are people who truly enter that industry and are entering from a healthy place and, um, and can engage in that industry in a very healthy way. What I would say though, is that if I were having this conversation with Genevieve, that maybe um, just because you are empowered in this doesn't mean that that is even that is that is the norm in this industry or that, e that that's even common in yeah. this industry. Yes, right? exactly that's exactly what I Genevieve, said. Genevieve, Genevieve engages with that. that. That's exactly. not what Lav said. Okay. I said that. Not, she exactly. called her immature. She said that she was a victim. She said that her situation is her own and she needs to understand that her even sharing a positive situation is why 18 year old women are going to go into OnlyFans and she is spreading harm. No, not one positive instance. It was the way she was talking about it in general and then wouldn't let me talk about it. About so, what was wrong so with would, it wouldn't no, engage she let you talk with about it no she, she just shared her experience no she would not engage on the fact that it is oppressive towards women as a whole i said i and i literally remember having this conversation mm -hmm. twice with I do her too. also on not so airy dad's panel when i literally was like you are coming from a place of privilege to be able to have made this choice in your 30s most women don't make this choice in their okay 30s. hold on wait most wait wait can we just be clear she wouldn't disagree with any of that right like, exactly. I, I like, hold on, wait, yeah. Because yeah. I don't like, we're not going to present her opinion like she's a fucking retard. Like, I'm sure that if you were to ask her, a lot of women get into sex work probably too early and probably engage with it in an unhealthy way. She'd probably, she would almost certainly say, yeah, of course, right? We all agree with that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. And what her, what her problem with what you were doing was the fact that you just didn't want her to share the positive aspects. No, you wanted it's her to be, she you didn't said, understand the difference said between that people, personal power and empowerment and you liberation. Said, you that said that people problem. need to not just share their positive experiences. They need to share their negative. Oh, and she said, I can't make up more negatives. If I have an overall positive experience, I don't know what you want me to do. It's her so, experience. She can't make up or lie about a fake one. And I think you actually said that you want her to just lie. What? Terry, you're retarded. Okay. What are you talking about? I, I listen. Never I, once I'm gonna did go I now. fucking say that. Thank there's a God. chance. There's a chance Thank I am God retarded really after big. listening to you for this Thank long. Thank God. Goodbye. Thank God. Goodbye. Uh. <laughs> Who left? What is happening? Uh, Cherry just left. Um. Be okay. shit. So I don't know with the Genevieve conversation uh, exactly what exactly happened, but if I if I am being generous in this, I'm and I'm trying to understand when you talk about personal empowerment versus like women's empowerment as a whole, is that kind of what you were trying to say to Genevieve? Like it is totally fine that you feel like you know you're taking your body back. A lot of trans women feel that way also because they're unable to get like jobs otherwise right so sex work becomes very appealing to them and they find like power and maintaining their own income and all these things but overall this is still something that oppresses women and you're enforcing that your sexuality is your greatest power and but it's still the thing that oppresses you you understand that in paying. one way like you're you're actually like doing oppression on the other end right what do you mean? Like, one of the reasons why people are getting upset is because you're essentially telling somebody that because of the way that society is structured, you can't actually do this thing that makes you feel good. Like, you're oppressing what would make them feel good otherwise because you're saying that they're part of a greater oppressive structure. That's probably where the bad feelings from, from their end is well, coming sure. from. Well, sure, but here's the thing. It's like a job, right? You're not going to be like, I'm, em I'm empowered by my Starbucks job. There are actually tons of people that feel that way. Okay, but that's not empowerment. You're still like living under, you're still like living under like a capitalist structure where you're making like $7 a fucking hour. I felt empowered when I was, stop. I felt empowered when I was working at McDonald's because it meant that I didn't, have to live with add, my, I didn't have to live with my parents anymore. Even though it sucked and the work was shitty, it felt nice to me that I was like one of the only people that I knew that started working when I was like 16 and I was sure, a really independent person. So that was, so that was empowering to me. And I'm sure there are some people that work jobs like, oh cool, like I have a job, I can do this. Like, yeah, there are going to be shitty aspects of things, but empowered or not empowered doesn't mean that every single thing related to something is totally good or totally bad but even relationships have positive and negative aspects sure, to that's them. true sure that's true but when you live as a woman and you live your whole life being like okay i can't age i have to be sexy this is my currency and then you reinforce that by uh becoming one of those women that is like the impossible standard that's like really harmful you don't have to become the impossible standard you might just be somebody who's like okay well i've been harassed or whatever related to my sexuality my entire life but hey i actually found out that i can actually make money selling it like this is actually really cool true. Like, it feels like it puts it's me true, back in the driver's then, seat about it so how, how that's true that's that's personal power that's not women's empowerment we're, we're still we're still keeping i'm still keeping those things put in places that the the way to make money is through my body through access to my body sublimating 
maybe what I, I mean, I'm trying not to sublimate what I want. That's why I'm not taking suggestions or anything. But yeah, there are certainly ways okay, where the, like- Whether you're taking suggestions has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. I don't know why you think that's like an important part of- Well, it's a, well, a self-boundary. Um, okay, it can be a self-boundary, but it makes no sense to anybody else. What, like 99% well, of the people that I jerk off to aren't taking my suggestions. I still like objectify them and masturbate to no, them. But nine, no, but 99% of the people you're doing have probably been in the Lana Road situation where they didn't speak up during the porn, but you're still enjoying it. That has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about. I'm just saying that whether or not you take suggestions has no well, bearing on whether anything is going to How do you not under, No, how do you not understand that? How do you not understand uh, that? How, do you not, how do I not understand what? The difference, you're like ask, you're acting like personal power is like very different. You than just like totally things. changed the subject. If you want to talk about something totally different, that's fine. But you totally changed the subject of what you just said. That like no, somehow no. whether or not you take personal like orders is going to change the way that like whether what you're doing is empowering. It's nothing because to do with it. Because part of no, because part of it is sublimation. So if you're sublimating, when, yourself, when, when you say sublimation, like, what do you mean by that? I mean, hold on. Sorry, my brain is fucking fried after this conversation. I mean, sorry, I can't engage with that right now. I, oh, there's too many things happening at once. I feel like we're having three different conversations. What was the one that was the most important? Uh, you uh, so you're trying to say like I don't take personal requests so somehow it's like okay I don't I don't know why you think that would have anything to do with like whether or not porn is so, good or bad for society it has zero so bearing I, on almost anything of, at all so, so a lot of why I think um, like sex work <laughs> holy shit I'm like having a stroke after this conversation I'm I'm suffering from mental exhaustion nice um, part of why I think porn is bad is because a lot of women, or at least the way that I was engaging with it, is that I was doing things that I knew I didn't necessarily like, but I was doing it for money, and that made me feel bad. And a lot of porn stars come out with that same thing, like Lana Rose, saying like, I didn't like doing this, but it made money. Sure, okay. But and still, it's nothing to do with whether or not you take requests or not, but... In its own way, it does, I think. Not in like, well, not, it, it's no, not it like doesn't. direct. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not direct, but yes, it absolutely, it, yes, it does. It's no, not it direct, doesn't. sure. It has nothing to do with direct or not. I'm just saying like, you can take requests and decide not to do them. You're not obligated yeah, to sure, it. Yeah, sure, sure, okay. sure, sure, gotcha. okay. sure. Okay, I'm just saying because you repeat it a lot. I meant. I that's what I meant, okay. that's what I meant, gotcha. that's okay. what I meant. Okay. Like okay. I, have, I, have, I have firmer boundaries, is okay. what I meant. That's good, having boundaries is good. Yes, I agree. Me too, based. Christ. Don't say Christ, you're Jewish. You don't get to use that word. Uh, Hashem, oi Hashem. There you go. Jesus Christ. So I don't understand why you brought in the capitalist thing into this. Um, because don't you think that in the same way that women are, uh, you're talking about how women are using their, their bodies to make money. Um, wouldn't you say, it, even in an opposite scenario where a woman is um, is staying at home and taking care of kids, her still her main um, her main value is still coming from her body, her youth, her ability to raise children uh, and to have children. Right? It's still the exact same thing, even if you take out the whole monetary incentive. Sure, but not her sexiness. And when you when you're in a world where where so much of your worth is tied when so much of your worth is tied to how fuckable you are, right? But that's the exact. So my issue with this is that I would find the exact same issue in the opposite direction when you're looking at it from a trad perspective, right? Huh. Um, uh, it, like um, traditionally in in the kind of trad um, standards, women are valued for their youth, for their attractiveness. Right. Um, uh, it, like you're saying, it's not attractiveness that they're being valued for. But I would say 100 percent it is their attractiveness. It's sure. their youth. It's their ability to have children and raise children. It's the it's it, so I would say that they're I think that they're very similar on both sides. And I think actually um, I, I don't think that the monetary incentive really is that important there. I think it. I think it is because I don't think when you, I don't think that you can buy consent. Um, of course you can, what do you mean? I don't think that you should, I guess. Okay, without buying consent, all work is slavery. <laughs> like, you don't work because you wanna work, you work because somebody's paying you to do it. Like, that's, they're buying You're your not, consent in a way. I don't necessarily think that's true. I think that some, I think that a lot of people go into jobs that they like. I don't think any, I don't think for, 80% of people, or 95% of people working jobs, they wouldn't do it for fun. They're getting paid to do it. Um, 
I wouldn't say that high of a number, but I also I think that that's one of my criticisms of any job. Yeah, that you shouldn't be doing that. Okay, but well, we need people to like do jobs that aren't fun for society to kind of work, right? Um, yeah, until we build a bunch of robots to do them for us, yeah. It, so one thing I could maybe like relate to you on, Lab, is when you talk about um, using your body for making money, I, I do think that there is something that is inherently a little bit more um, vulnerable and a little bit more personal when it comes to sex work. Um, and I could maybe relate to that. And I, I personally have not come up with the proper words to kind of explain what that is yet. Um, uh, I do think that th there is something that's just inherently more um, personal and and uh, puts you at far more risk when you're doing sex work. And I wouldn't, I don't like to compare it to any other job. Um, but if you're just talking about women being valued for their looks and for their bodies, I would say that that's the same across uh, no matter where you are. In, in yeah, I, I think... Thing. I think that's an aspect of it, but like you said, it's hard to like place words on like what is so, like what makes it. I, I mean, I compare I compare um, sex work, and this might not be like the best. Wait, hold on. Wait, I, wait, this is a not difficult, right? The thing that makes it different is like that level of physical intimacy is incredibly rare, and anything that involves that level of like physical intimacy is going to be like an incredibly heightened and sensitive experience. This well, would be no, similar for like combat a... sports too, right? Like it's a very, very, very like physically yes, intimate yes, thing. I was going to say, true. I was just going to, I was just going to compare it to yep. uh, to sports where sure. people will <clears throat> physically alter their bodies as a result yeah. of how long they've been There's, in the industry. That, that's one aspect of it, and then the second aspect of yeah. it is it also tends to be an activity that we associate with. People that we like love and care for as well which is also something that makes it unique so it's the physical closeness yeah. of it and it's the fact that it's something that we typically associate and we'll probably do later on with people that we like really love and care about right I, there's, so also, one thing there's I, also like a social there's like a social aspect on this that is like i, I don't know cherry seems to not believe the patriarchy exists but the problem is you, when you say patriarchy that doesn't mean anything you've got to expand on that way more because no no no, no, no. Sure, it's not that it ends the conversation there's more that can be said there but you don't say anything more you just say patriarchy and when you say patriarchy no, clear, you're using clear... patriarchy to oppress women so it's a really weird way when you invoke it you're using pa you're bringing up patriarchy to tell women they can't do things this is a weird way to engage with that topic no, that's not what I brought it up for. There's obviously a clear power dynamic between men and women in society. So? There's clear, there's power dynamics between literally everybody in society. Some favor women, some favor men. Sure, and I don't think that I, I don't think so power that, dynamics isn't an answer for like anything. Those. What, you, no, no, you, I don't of like power you dynamics. Do. Like there's that. always power dynamics. It's impossible to get rid of them. Sure, that's but fine. But power that... dynamics are part of healthy relationships. Like, of course. Sure, but I don't necessarily think that like women, like. What do you mean? I'm, I'm like not okay with the power dynamic that like women like cannot get like certain jobs because the of power being dynamic. A woman. Wait, 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 finish that. Well, wait, finish that. You, w women can't get certain jobs? Yeah, or like get paid less for the same position. That's not a power dynamic. That's just like sexism or those are like structural problems. It's not yeah, a power dynamic. Yeah. Well, the structural problems and power dynamic, I think, are pretty like synonymous when nope, you think they about have the nothing to do with, They have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Okay, I used the wrong word. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just trying to make sure we understand each other. Don't act like I'm attacking you. Because if you want me to attack you, I'll attack you. Being very patient in this conversation, okay? I'm not. I'm not acting like you were attacking okay, me. Okay. Well, I you just slammed the, the table. Word. Okay. Well, you said it in a sarcastic manner, like I was attacking you when you said it. Okay. I just said the wrong word. Okay. I, I think, um, yeah, it, like there are power dynamics in any job. Um, I think that uh, the, what Destiny was saying about. Um, about the personal, how personal it is, I think is important. I think a lot of people, when I have this conversation with people, they'll often say that, oh, there's not anything inherently more personal about sex work. Um, all work, you know, all work uses your body. Um, like, it, it, you know, and sure, so there's a lot of jobs that do um, require a lot of work from your body, but I do think that there is something that is very different about about uh, sex work at, uh, on a personal level um, that I just don't think it's proper. I don't think it's really respectful even to sex workers to even compare it to other jobs. Um, That's fine, but the reason why the comparison needs yeah. to be made is because you need to figure out why somebody is treating it way differently. If somebody has a good yeah. answer for that, then you can move on from that, but they don't really have an answer for it, and it's like, okay, well then why are you treating it so much differently? It's, it's worth investing yeah. in. Yeah, for sure. So when you say things like, oh, well, I think it's different because you're forced to do it even if you don't like it, well, that's like all work. Then, you're, then your complaints there oh, have yeah. nothing to do with sex work. It just has to do with like capitalism or something. Mm -hmm. 
But, um, yeah, I and that's why I brought up my criticism of capitalism. But if that's the Sorry. answer, that's then you have no problem with sex work. You just have a problem with work work. And I don't, I don't know why I, you focus well, on sex work at all. Steven, Steven, yeah. I already told you that my problem is not sex work inherently. I, we already, I've already, I've said this eight times today. I know, but the way that you talk around it is so unbelievably confusing that it makes it hard to keep track of the conversation. No, maybe you just should stop playing fucking video games and you'd get it. If we were to do a poll for how many people are confused by what your positions are, do you think most people yeah. would be confused? I think it's really, I don't know. I think that, I think that your, 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 your viewers probably half tune in also. Okay, wh which viewers are fully in tune with your position? Who's viewers? I mean, I'm <laughs> sorry, what'd you say? Whose viewers are fully in tune with your positions? No, I mean, I, I mean, like half of your viewers are. Even, no, no. Who, are I'm even, asking like, which listening. viewers are following you completely. Like, who? No, if I'm I go saying, to their I'm chat, saying, I'm like, I'm oh, saying, you guys know when Livelum talks about sex work. Do you understand like her positions fully? Who? Which no. streamers gonna be like, oh yeah, we all understand. No, I'm saying that like half of your of your listeners like probably are like have like this muted and are just like watching you play a game or doing something else. Like, I don't. I'm not saying that. Like, I don't know if everyone who's watching is like fully engaged in this conversation. Okay. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I, I'm. I feel like what I'm saying is not that crazy, but you're 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 making me. I am a gaslighting like expert. That's what I do, especially. No, like women, I'm, so. I feel I feel like you're making me feel like I'm saying something stupid. It's or like not... I'm doing something wrong. I the, don't think so. I think yes. No, I do think so. The reason why it feels wrong is because you speak with a conviction that seems to attack other people. That's where mo I've said that a million times. That's where like most of the issues. I I know that, but I don't. I don't. Have I done that in this conversation? Besides with Cherry, because I think she's retarded. In this particular conversation, um, aside from representing um, the Miss Genevieve's position, is really dumb. No, I don't necessarily think so. So why are you making me feel like I've done something like, like I've been stupid during this conversation? Well, the issue isn't what you said in this conversation alone. The issue is between all the conversations. Okay. Yeah, he's right. Good one, John. Okay, fair. I. Whatever. I I think that. I also I think that I have a lot of criticisms of um sex. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're just trying. You sound like a victim again. Shut up. Oh. Stop. I think okay, I think go. I have a, I think I have a lot of criticisms of sex work that are also like um that I don't have the vocabulary for yet, if that makes sense. Like Yeah, there's sense. a lot of things there's a there's a lot of things that I have to say that I just like haven't found the words for because I haven't heard maybe someone else say them or because I can't really describe the feeling. Um Yeah, but overall like I don't I don't think I've flip-flopped. I think that I've definitely added information to the repertoire, um, but I don't. I don't think that I've been like, yeah, sex work is awful, bad, and now I'm like, sex work's so good. Like I have the same criticism that I've always had. I'm just like, yeah, maybe I have more hope. I'm like, yeah, I can maybe do this in a positive way. Maybe I'm seeing things a little more nuanced. Maybe I'm a little more black pilled. I'm like, okay, if you can't beat them, join them. I think there's a couple things going on. Are you are you testing out new um, new positions? With like sad face, Cherry. Okay, stop. What she said was perfectly valuable. She doesn't have the vocabulary for this stuff. She doesn't really know how she feels about it, right? She's exploring this stuff, but the solution to that is not jumping on your platform with like however many six-figure TikTok digits and making a YouTube video and like jumping up in a soapbox and preaching this shit. The answer is to find that vocabulary and figure out your feelings and explore them with a therapist, not with the well, public. not necessarily a therapist. Not with it's the not world. Like a... yeah, no, I, I mean, I think, um, I think everything uh, I've said is is valid. Maybe no, I was a little bit not. too emotional in the beginning. Certainly. So I think that um, I, I, I've had similar um, concerns about sex work and I just, I tend to, I, I haven't really, when I was figuring the, the words out for this, I didn't really go on a platform and, and, and speak about them. Um, and so maybe that is just the issue because you're in real time learning how to speak about this, learning how to clarify this. And um, as a result, people are, you know, reading that you're being a bit critical and maybe you're not intending to be that critical or you're being a bit accusatory and you're not intending to be that accusatory. I'm not sure, but... Well, yeah, that's um, the but, issue has yeah. always been that because what, like the whole yeah. reason why this exploded initially was because it sounded like you were being hypercritical of all sex workers and denouncing all of it 
um, when you had like your coming to Jesus moment about how like OnlyFans was bad. That's what it seemed like to people. And sure. not backing down from it when she rejoined Patreon. She doubled down because, on her. her yes, because I, I, I think the same. Yes, because I still think the same things. I can say them less emotionally now because I'm a little far removed. I'm not in proximity, the same proximity, right? I think that makes sense. Wait, so you think that the feelings that you had a month or two ago or whatever, when you came out on Max's stream or my stream or whatever to talk about how you- Two and a half months ago. Yeah, you- I think my delivery, my delivery was not graceful whatsoever. No. But you think your general feelings are the exact same? Uh, feelings? Like thoughts, concepts, like you just haven't been able to word it, but your feelings are more or less the same about everything. Because I would say before you I answer that, something. I, I gotta, no, you I don't. You don't. You we don't actually. You don't. You don't actually have to say anything. <laughs> um, wait, wait. But I, I would say that, like, I would I've say that, like, for two hours. Okay, you're about to get banned from my server. You say some meme or retarded shit. So good luck. Okay. Why is she crying? No, oh. it's just a serious combo, and I've got to leave in like ten minutes. And if I like end with you like talking about the messianic fucking black Jesus no, or no, whatever. No, no, no. It's on topic always. I just feel like, you know, when liberals talk about their emotions all day, it's clearly dominating her psyche. It's it, like the, everything the universe is saying, don't do the OnlyFans. Uh, Bannerman spilled the tea. He did it. Okay. <clears throat> the, um, yeah, okay. Uh, your feelings should be changing. They shouldn't be the exact same as they were. Like when you say that, it makes it feel like now you're scared to back no, off. Like you're I, about no, like I said, like I said, I'm adding to the repertoire, but I haven't made like some flip flop. Like, no, don't, again, you could, you, okay, this is what I'm saying. I think okay. I've, I think I've grown on, I think I've, I've added information. I understand what you're saying. To, I'm just, I, listen, I'm just saying that. To the repertoire. You should be flip-flopping. That's a good thing. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm not, I'm not flip-flopping. I I'm know you going, don't want to flip-flop like, because you think it's no, bad. But Steven, I'm, no, Steven, I'm not going back and oh forth. I'm adding, I'm that's adding. That's fine. That's not flip-flopping. But I'm saying that like, in your personal development as a human, especially when you're exploring these things. I'm growing. Okay. But the ideas going through your head should never be whether or not you're flip-flopping. Because you should be no, changing. But that was the, can... No, that was the criticism <sighs> okay, that Terry levied against me, okay, Stephen. Okay, yep, I understand. We're, you're, okay. You know, I think what Stephen is trying to say is that you could just be real giga chat about it and be like, yeah, you know what, I changed my mind, whatever. No, what I'm saying if is I that personal say, development involves some I level of going back and forth, and that doesn't happen publicly because you, you, you're too scared to develop publicly because you're too busy trying to own prior positions. When it comes to personal development, it shouldn't matter if you're flip-flopping or not, or it shouldn't matter if you said one thing before. There's plenty of times when people try something and then they realize later on, like, ah, fuck, that was a bad thing. You know what? I shouldn't do that. And that's part of your personal growth. But if you're worried yeah. about whether or not, like, oh, fuck, that's making me a flip-flopper, then you're inhibiting your personal growth by trying to appeal to some, like, online debate platform. That's what I'm saying. That's bad. Also I guess also, that's true. I do, I do think that you flip-flopped. Um, you do it often in the past, like, four months. But I also didn't want to have a conversation with you because I think in the conversation, you will flip-flop. And I think you've already demonstrated that. Hey, bitch. I, whatever. I, I, I think that uh, I haven't gone, like, back and forth. I think that I um, have, like, added information to the repertoire, and I was emotional at first, and I haven't been em that emotional since which I like, um, and I hope that I'm not emotional again. Who's to say? I've also said that I could quit again. Who knows? Why is it that when and I be call you out, you call me a bitch and say I'm mean, but when Destiny calls you out, you're like, you go into like sad mode. What are you- I'm not, this isn't sad mode. I'm not sad at all. I mean, before you- You told the me yeah, to absolutely. call the suicide hotline, you fucking cunt. You are a Whoa. bad person. You're a bad person. You're mean. You're well, mean, you're a bitch. <laughs> You know this about yourself. That's you're good like, advice. Hey, you're like, you're like, how come, how come when I'm so fucking rude to you, you respond differently than when your friend is talking to you? Are you? I mean, stupid? I already explained why I wanted to give you the suicide hotline. Okay. Wait, I want to hear that. She said that she couldn't help but watch my content and that it was like self harm to her. And then she showed up into my chat oh, the next day, shit. and I told her she should go, and I linked her the suicide hotline. Oh my god. She, you're like, why did not you respond be so Why did you respond so poorly for that? And then you're like, why are you respond so- Like, hello? Obviously I'm responding different to fucking Steven talking to me about it in the way that he is. Hello? Stupid? <laughs> God. Yeah. I, I used to, honestly, after this conversation, I'm feeling so much better about you going over my lore because I know that you're fucking retarded and I don't respect you at all anymore. So you can do well, whatever you want. So here's the thing. I don't think I demonstrated that I'm retarded, but I, I think I'm definitely, you did a perfect I'm mean, job and I don't care about your feelings. You, Absolutely. Like, not at all. Okay, perfect. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep getting clicks and views off of me. I commend you for it. 
I think that's so cool. I'm so glad that I could okay. be of service. Well, I got the permission, so thank you. Bye. Well, okay, you're streaming this stuff and uploading YouTube. So what does this keep getting clicks and views? You're putting this shit out in the public to be evaluated. No, 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 no. She's doing. She's been doing lore streams where she explicates and does and writes like notes on my stuff, and it's like. She's like getting a lot of good engagement Wait, from it. What's wrong with that? Like, but nothing's wrong with it. That's nothing's wrong with creation. it. That's nothing's that's wrong really... with it. But aren't you guys like a hundred viewer Andes? Yes. Nothing's oh, I wipe, wrong. I personally wipe my ass with a hundred viewers. But yeah, <laughs> okay, great, hands. John. Nothing's wrong with the content. I'm not. I'm mad impressed at her you can count to a hundred. I'm not mad yeah, at you critiquing too. me. <laughs> wow, not... you really got me, bro. You should clip that for your YouTube channel. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not mad at her critiquing me. I'm mad at her being extremely rude. That's what I was mad at. And she's been rude this whole time. But she's been rude you don't this whole understand. fucking time. Lav, it's a Hegelian dialect. The through your oh conflict, you and her oh. will actually become closer together. True. I can't wait. This is just how content creators um, interact with each other. Some of them this are going to be more. This is how Steven and I fell in love. I, I'm not. I'm. Shut I up, never, Zerka. I would never talk to. Shut up, Star Myth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you want to? Uh, how about this, Zerka? Uh, speak when you're spoken to. Okay, nobody wants to hear Whoa. from you. Wow. Is, are you being racist? Alpha, right now? alpha, alpha, alpha. She just out alpha to you. Uh, I am she's being racist towards me right now. How am I being Are you racist? Being race to you? You're being racist. How am I being white racist to you? Because oh, white okay, that's what it. That's all what I want to say okay. is white lives matter. You know, I have a shirt that says it's okay to be white. Did you know that, Zerka? Beautiful. Well, I mean, it's, it's not okay. It's fucking awesome. Oh my god. How do you feel about that, Cherry? Are you white, John? Cherry's not in the call uh -huh. anymore. Oh fuck. Well, is Sherry gonna cry? Are you gonna cry, little liberal girl? Here, send it to my PO box. I drink the tears. The only by. one who sounds like they're about to cry is you, Zerka. Your your voice sounds yeah, like you're constantly wavering. Okay, Stardust, so help her. Help Lav Loon. She's having a mental breakdown. You're it's the one who coffee. needs help. You sound like you're gonna cry all the time, Zerka. It's cause he got bullied by a, a fucking uh, <laughs> a grad student today. Yeah, that oh, guy no. looks just like you. Wow, man. I didn't bring your looks into it. No, I'm saying that's what you liberals look like. Like, uh -huh. here, turn your camera on. Hey, tell us on. about your full head of hair, John Zerk. I heard that turn, earlier. Turn your camera on. Let me look. Take you. your baseball cap off. All right, turn your... <laughs> I will. Turn your camera on first. Okay. My camera is on. Hold on. Well, you're the gamer? Oh. That's unfortunate. This is me in my rawest form, okay? Nice, bro. You should bring some of that Reddit sarcasm here. That's what we need. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, to conclude. But if, my if that's Reddit sarcasm, what's your humor, Zerka? I find My humor is doing half a million views overnight, not staying at oh 100 viewers, 100 viewers for the rest of your fucking life. Okay, I love okay. I love you guys. I'm gonna go to conclude. You know what it my, is? My problem. Shut up, Johnny. 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 Blood on the toilet paper. Johnny. Yeah, okay. On. My problem Lab, is just delete your OnlyFans. You're acting like a total bitch. My 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 problem is not with Cherry giving me criticism. Bro, is Cherry's it... more interesting than you. He, she's taking your man. Even's <laughs> going to her, bro. <laughs> okay. You lost Steven. Yeah. How do you lose yeah. a garden gnome? You lost a little boy. <laughs> True. You failed that's miserably. It. That's never been my problem. My, my problem you is... You shouldn't it, stay up okay. thinking about OnlyFans. You should stay up I actually up don't have a problem anymore. I actually, I actually feel a lot better about all of it. And I actually don't care. I think that this has been really cathartic and therapeutic for me. I actually got all my anger out what? and I feel a lot better. What? It took you four hours to feel better? What are you, a toddler? I guess, yeah. Fucking pay Destiny right now for that therapy. What are you talking okay. about? Fucking take all my Destiny time. You ever think that I wanted to talk to him today? You ever think of that? Or is it just me, me, me? It's always you girls, me, me, me. <laughs> then, uh, John, how come you come on whenever I'm on? Do you have like a crush on me or something? You like really love to be around me. Crush on you? What are you talking about? My eyesight is perfect. <laughs> But you come on whenever I'm on lately. Honestly, I love liberal tears. Like I love your side coping. You guys I'm always not sound a like liberal. A well, you know, yes, you, yes, you are. Oh, think about it. Your ideology is maximizing individual liberty, 
as long as it doesn't hurt anyone, I can marry my mother and fuck her as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. That's your ideology, which is do what thou wilt. It's satanic and you need Christ. You don't need OnlyFans. That's what you I'll, need. You need Christ. I'll think about it. I'll think about no, don't it. Think, well, don't, yay. Yeah, okay, are you going to take me to church? Take you to the church. I don't want to burst in a ball of flames. You go there yourself. You're a fucking satanic. You're <laughs> going to burn in hell. Okay, I'll see you on the next Royale, Zerka. Love you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Be careful. You see that? All she needed was some toxic masculinity. You <laughs> yeah, see you that, chat? Dude, you fixed her, man. Hey, you took four hours. How do you feel now? How do you feel now? How do you feel? <laughs> it's not working, bro. Roast the shit out of her. <laughs> 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 true, red, the true red pill. That's what we needed. Yeah, the I'm true dead. red pill. You treat them fair, and they feel human again. When you treat them all nice and shit, they go, oh, "I want more niceness. Can I have more niceness?" Let me tell you something about women, all right? Eve from Adam and Eve, that fucking whore. She literally had the perfect reality, a utopia of infinity, and the bitch said, "I want more." What the fuck? She said, I want more. Bitch, you're in paradise. How can you have more? That is greed. That is just greedy. And you're allowing people to be greedy. I want more feelings. Can I have more feelings? <laughs> you're pretty in your feelings right now, dude. Of course I am, Stardust. I'm talking to you. When Every time I talk to you, you know who you remind me, Stardust? You yeah. remind me? You remind me of me when I was younger. And a oh. liberal. Yes. Yes, I was once a liberal loser like you, Stardust. And oh. I called myself a lefty. Okay, guys, listen, it's been fun. I'm glad. I'm glad Everyone. we had this today. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad yep. we got all our feelings out. See ya. Thanks for having me on. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Um, Wait that. a minute, I stayed two hours silent for this Andy? I have to go the eat. Dylan is in town. Done. I thought I was gonna go meet him. <laughs> Bro, I hate that girl, man. Wow. Well. I um How are you doing, Supreme? Okay.